right, and good day. Welcome back to another Minecraft stream. Minecraft! We're back at Sky Factory 4 doing all the things and the stuff. Stuff and things. Draven stuff and things today. So, whew, we're about that point. We're about that point where things are about to get crazy. Uh, we've knocked out the vast majority of achievements. Really, we just have this page. I'm uh, not sure where we are in this. I have not checked. I need to look. I did not work on that this week like I was going to. Hello, Z, user mode A, and Greg Block. Good day. Uh, we still have that. That's going to be like the one of the last things, we, achievements we do. we got to check on our black hole unit to see if I really need to start putting work into that. And then we have this. Fusion reactor. Which is where we're going to start today. Fusion. So mostly it's just been building resources. Um, I had to, I went ahead and added a second melter system, uh, melting liquid diamond, just because I wanted to make sure we had enough of that going. Let's take a look here. All right. So last thing we did is we set up the deuterium, deuterium, and liquid hydrogen. Uh, liquid hydrogen is producing very quickly. We're at 498 million. The deuterium is slower. I did add a second row to it. I can add more if we find that that is being used faster than it's producing. Um, I have parts for that. If we need to, we may have to. We're going to build the fusion reactor. Hey, Yuriana. Hello. Yuri, wait. Yurianilla. Ooh, make sure I say that right. Um, I did realize that we were going through boron faster than I was getting it from the laser drills. So I, or sorry, thorium, not boron. Thorium. So I did make a few thorium seeds and add that into the system. Uh, it is now making thorium seed, thorium bars, because thorium is what's making our TBU fuel over here. Uh, so we need we needed to make sure that that stayed up and running for our uh, fission reactor. So at this point, I'm making it almost as fast as basically as I'm using it. So pretty much a lateral move. Wake her up, hey. And then let's see. Um, so that's one thing we're doing. And yes, I think that's mostly everything I did. I did remember Mistcraft. I want to fiddle with Mistcraft at some point. I didn't play Mistcraft at all in the last one I was in. She wants pets. She wants pets, baby. Yes, we do. Yeah, but then she's going to want some pets. Sorry, my wife is down feeding my kitty. <laughs> um... My head collection, uh, very nice. I believe at this point we have to have all of them. I see multiples of pretty much everything in there. So I think it's time to shut that down. <laughs> hey, Mr. Terry. Head into bed. Enjoy your sleep, sir. I think it is time for us to turn off the mob farm. I don't really necessarily need it for anything at this point. And... Uh, I was doing it just to gather heads. We're going to do something with those heads. I haven't quite decided what yet. but uh, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slap that in there. That'll keep anything from spawning so that nothing will happen. There. there. That should be all we need for that. Okie dokie. Let's see. So we've got the fuels we needed for the fusion reactor. Fusion, fusion, fusion reactor. Now we have to get cray cray. So... We're going to have to make some more weird products, but only in a small amount. Thankfully, we're going to have to make, in my opinion, the hardest thing to make in Sky Factory 4. And I hate it. <laughs> but we're not going to automate it because I don't need that much of it. We just need some. Um, and that is for... Where are you at? I can't remember what it's called. I just know what it looks like. It's the... The middle thing for the reactor. Where is it at up here? It's in here somewhere. Um, what is this? A glowing mushroom. I didn't realize that was nuclear craft. What are you gonna do with a glowing mushroom? Hang on, I gotta see what you can do with a glowing mushroom. What purposes does it have? Radaway fluid. Oh, how interesting! I didn't realize that. That's how you get radaway. Radaway, not really needed in this pack. Where is the middle thing for the reactor? I know it's in here, and I'm just not seeing it, and it's making me angry. You know what I'm talking about? The thing for the reactor? The middle of the black piece that's like a 3x3x3, three by three by three, and it takes forever to make because it requires something horrendous? This 
crystal binder, which is the thing we've got to make today, which is horrendous. And elite plating. There it is. Fusion core. Why am I not seeing the fusion core? Like it should. I saw it earlier. It's in the pack. I know it is. It's going to make me mad that it's on this page somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. I guess I'll have to Google it. All right. Fusion core. There it is, right there. I just I don't know why I couldn't find it. Let's add that to our list because that's going to be a big chunk of our day. Oof. How's everybody's uh, Easter going? Happy Easter. Welcome to Easter. The end of Easter. We're getting to the tail end of it. For some of you, Easter may already be over. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. Fusion core. Okay, here's what you need for a fusion core. These pieces. Some of these will be easier to make than others. First, we will need magnesium diboride solenoids. Say that real fast. So I need magnesium and boron added together. That's, that's not hard. Magnesium I got. And boron I got. One stack should be enough. Uh, put it in here. Man oh, I already have some of that in there. How convenient. <coughs> Convenience! That'll make some of the stuff for this. To make this. So then I need two of those. Alright, there's two of those. Excellent. One step closer. We got the middle. Bingo! Or X's and O's. Which game is that? Three by three. That's X's and O's, right? Does anybody call it X's and O's? I always have people call it tic-tac-toe. But when I was growing up, it was always X's and O's, which is probably weird because I'm weird and I accept that. We need a chem chemical reactor. All right, I need a solenoid. We'll make a few of those. And I'm also going to need some of these. Make a few of those. Everybody wins. Chemical something or other. All right, now we go bloop. We lost our middle thing. Okay, <laughs> I used that to make that other thing. Let's make a few of those too. All right, one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. I need another one. Oh, I didn't realize that was two of the same thing there. There we go. What are some other fun mod packs? All the mod 8, Sky Factory 3, Stone Block 2, all the mods to the Sky 7, uh, Sky Farm. Those are probably some of my favorites. I'm thinking about doing a Sky Farm playthrough again. Not next, though. I think we've figured out what's going to be our next mod pack. <laughs> I'm somewhat dreading it. <laughs> I need elite plating. Elite plating, I need all of the X part. So, elite plating, I'm going to need four of them. So, let's see. I need these. Like, I don't even have the green things yet. All right. Let's go work on the, the, the green stuff. Uranium 238. How do I get that? Like this? I don't have any of that either. Are any as good as Sky Factory? I think Stone Block 2 is. Stone Block 2 is probably still my second favorite pack. Um, Sky Farm was really good, but I did something that broke my game, unfortunately. Made a boo-boo, so I didn't get to really finish it. How do I get this stuff? Let's see. Okay, so this is the Oxide one. Uranium Oxide. Plutonium. Okay, I guess... How do you get... How do I get this? I cook uranium oxide dust. How do I get that? By putting uranium... Uranium... I don't think that's how I normally get this. Hmm. What broke it? So in Sky Farm, um, there is the Parabox. If you're familiar with Prestige Mode and Project E in Sky Factory 4, it also has that. And you may also know about the duplication glitch that you can use to start a pair box and double the amount of a certain material that you have. I, being foolish, but wanting to test something, duplicated um, the memory storage disk from my refined storage. And it was like an infinite one, and it was had millions of things on it. So I'm like, I'll duplicate it and see if I get double things. So I took, I duplicated it, put it in the cyst, put it back in the refined storage, 
but the refined storage couldn't read it because it was trying to read the same code twice. And it didn't break right away. That was the problem. It just started getting glitchy and it took a while for me to figure out what happened. And then it ended up breaking like a week later. And by then I had no backup saved from previous to that. So I couldn't go back beforehand once I figured out what the actual issue was. Uh, so by that point it was just broken. We're done with every achievement. Looking for something new. Prestige. Prestige is a, is a world type. So when you start your, your world, your Sky Factory 4 world, I believe it's down at the bottom. It'll actually t ask you if you want to have it prestige on or off. By default, I believe it's off. Um, but you turn prestige on and it makes it a prestige playthrough, which infinitely increases the challenge of your Sky Factory 4 playthrough. And I recommend doing it. Uh, if you're you know, if you enjoy, still want Sky Factory, but you're looking for a new challenge, because it's going to lock out a lot of the stuff you normally use, and you're going to have to find different ways to do things for a while until you can figure out how to how to get it back. I am not seeing how to get uranium two three eight. Let's try not the oxide. Uranium two three oxide oxide. Uranium ingot. There we are. Uranium ingot into an isotope separator. Okay, that we can do. Uh, is it isotope? It is not. Is it isotope? Iso it is. <laughs> More hilarity. What does it affect? So it locks out a large amount of the different uh, mods. Like for a smeltery, you don't get the smeltery controller. So you can only use the melter. Um, you do, you can't vein mine. You don't have hopping bonsais. So you have to earn prestige points to unlock those things. Usually by playing, by creating a world, doing the first page, starting a new world, doing the first page of achievements. Because the, the achievement, the points carry over. So you just keep doing it till you have five or six points and you can start unlocking. You can unlock something each time. It makes the beginning take much, much longer. Uh, I'm going to need power. Do, 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 do. Flux. Uh, flux point. Yeah, yeah. I already got one. Sweet. I'm not going to make this real fast because I'm only going to need a few of these. Okay. So it said to put uranium, right? It was uranium? I believe it was uranium. We're going to assume it was uranium. Uranium. Oh, I am going to get some upgrades, though. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Upgrade. Duh. You put the S in and they all disappear. Run. Tru. Give me what I need. Let that stack up for a minute. Uh, Prestige and Project E a cheat. Uh, Project E is. Prestige makes it harder. But you have to go through Prestige to be able to unlock Project E. And then it is easier, but you get things you didn't have before. Uh. Hey, Jan, how goes it? Hey, you know what? I just learned I can make polls now. I'm going to make a poll. We're going to ask an important question. And some of you may not be able to answer this. I'm going to make a poll because I wanted to do one. Uh... Hold on, I'm gonna set this up. I didn't. I should have set up ahead of time, but I didn't. Do, 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 do. Now I'm not saying that these are the best. I just want to know which one you think is better. I'm gonna put a poll up top. I don't. I can stop it anytime. I've never used a poll before. Wanted to give it a try. So there we go. What is better, Cadbury Easter cream egg, or Reese's peanut butter egg? Now, I'm not saying that there isn't something better than both of them. I'm just saying of the two of them, which is better. I'm interested to know your thoughts. I'm going to leave that up for a while. Get this one pretty quick. Excellent. Two of these should be, two stacks should be enough. We'll leave this separator here just in case I have to use it again. 
and we need more. I can't vote, oddly enough. I didn't realize that, but I guess that makes sense. Shouldn't be. I shouldn't be swaying my own poll, right? Wait, that sounded inappropriate. You know what I'm talking about, pervs. <laughs> we had a conversation at my job the other day during a team meeting. It came up, and I was talking about their favorite Easter candies, and, and somebody asked, "Does anybody even eat Jelly Boy beans anymore?" And I'm like, "Just the black ones." Turns out I'm the only person in my entire area that likes. The black jelly beans. I love black licorice. It's good stuff. When I was a kid, there was a gas station market combo just a few minutes from my grandparents' house. They lived kind of in the country. It was like a at an intersection. There wasn't anything else really there, so it wasn't like it was a, a town or anything. It was kind of on the highway, an old, old highway. And... Uh, <clears throat> my grandpa would go there and get gas and stuff, and I'd go in with him. Uh, first place I ever saw Playboy magazines. They're on a shelf in the very back corner where they weren't viewable from the register. I mean, real easy as a young guy to, like, eight, nine, ten year old sneak in the back and look through them. Uh, that was me. Um, but, on you know, it's a type of... They had the big jars on the counter, right? Which was a deli as well. With, like, jerky or hard-boiled pickled eggs and stuff. Uh, and they had one that had just big hunks of black licorice. Uh, my grandpa would always get each of us a big chunk of black licorice when I was with him. I loved it. Got some new pets. What kind of animals are they? And people said, said, hey, I just want to say you're helping. Hey, I'm happy I could help out. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate that. Welcome. It is a pleasure to have you. Uh, what are we working on? Oh, yeah, the corners. Oh, the corners. I need one of these DU platings. Now, I need four of these, right? Two, three, four. Excellent. That's the perfect amount. Delicious. Um, so that's good. Okay. So now, I still need the four corner things. Here's where the hard part happens. To make this, I need crystal binder. Crystal binder is horrible to automate. <laughs> Uh, when Sky Factory 4 first came out, I couldn't automate it. Fortunately, when the pack updated after a couple times, it became better, easier to do. Hello, Awkward. Kittens, excellent. The most superior of pets. Not saying I hate dogs. I'm just saying I prefer cats. Uh, calcium sulfate. The worst thing in the world to make. Crushed Rodahakabomb is okay. I just got to crash a crush a Rodahakabomb. And to get a Rodahakabomb, all I do is I've got to crush some granite. So granite's doable. That's not that bad. I was able to make four. Okay, well, that was worse than I thought. But that's okay. I'm going to need more than that. So let's get in here and work on that. So I need granite. And to get granite, I you, you know, you get granite. It's just, that's how it works. You have to add diorite. So I need diorite. Diorite is easy. I can make diorite all day. All right, there's eight diorites. More than enough than what we're going to need. And then I got to go in here and I got to turn it into four of those should be enough. And... I have to feed that through a rock crusher. Okay. I can do that. Whoop! Missing two things. I thought that might happen. Two things. Rock crusher. Excellent! Give me these. Crushing! And getting some other stuff we might use later. <clears throat> this Easter Sunday, a reminder that there will be no streams next weekend. Okay? There will not be any streams next Sunday, Monday. Sunday, my wife is getting a, a tattoo for her birthday, and we're going to be there all day. I will not be home in time. When I do get home, I have to go directly to bed because I have to get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, and drive to Nashville, Tennessee, 
to go to the immigration office. So I will be exhausted. So I'm not by the time I get back Monday, I'm probably going to conk out and just be unconscious. So it will not be streamed Sunday and Monday. I might do a makeup stream Tuesday. Just depends on how I feel. I don't want to say for sure yes yet. All right, this is coming along just nicely. Crush Rodahasafafafasite. Getting lots of that. We'll finish out just the stack. I think that might be enough. Okay. Now, I don't need that anymore. Now, Crystal Binder. Crush Rodahasafafasite. Okay, so we've got the component for that now. All right, we got lots of that. That's good. I'll put granite back in here. So now, still need the four corner things. Here's the four corners. I need four corners of this. And magnesium and pulverized obsidian, easy to get. Now we have our crust rubber half of offer. Now we just need frickin' calcium sulfate. Ugh. All right. Okay. Get these out of here. I'm going to need this whole room to build this system. Actually, I'm probably just going to do it piece at a time. I'm not going to automate the thing by any means. Okay, let's get her going. Calcium sulfite. You need calcium sulfite solution. To get that, you need sulfuric acid and fluorite water. To get fluorite water, you need crushed fluorite and water. To get crushed fluorite, you need fluorite water, which we already talked about. But you got to crush diorite to get fluorite. So now we got to make diorite and crush it. Oh, I could have left that rock crusher down there. That worked. Okay. Sweet. Easy enough. Diorite. We were already working on that. That works out well. Diorite! I got a little bit there already. I don't know how much we need. We better make a few. I just put it away again. That was the opposite of what I meant to do. do, 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 do. Uh, let's see here. Reese's peanut butter eggs are heavily favored right now. Um, Grenfell, almost anything's better than peanut with pe the peanut butter. Hmm. Okay. I used to feel that Reese's peanut butter eggs were better. And I still think that they're better than regular cups. The chocolate is softer, and I find the chocolate to peanut butter ratio to be better. But, um, I don't know, man. I, I, I lean towards Cadbury eggs now, and that's largely because Reese's eggs just flooded the market. Then there were Reese's trees, and there were Reese's pumpkins, and Reese's bats. It seems every time I turn around, they're there again. Slightly different shape, exact same taste and flavor. Where the eggs really only come out at Easter, and once in a while I've seen them released as like green eggs for Halloween. But that's still just two small windows of the year that I can get them. And so I think I enjoy them more now, partially due to their scarcity. Whereas peanut butter eggs, I'm like, these are delicious. And then I eat six, and I'm like, I'm not going to eat any more of these this year. I have eaten... Six of these, I'm good. I have achieved all that needs to be achieved with these eggs. With these Reese eggs. Um, but yes. Kit Kat peanut butter? I've never heard of Kit Kat peanut butter. Is that like a Kit Kat with peanut butter in it? Is it a type of peanut butter made by Kit Kat? Or you like to dip Kit Kats in peanut butter? I've never heard of them, so that's why I'm wondering. I just want to get clarification. Because all three of those sound good to me. I would eat a Kit Kat with peanut butter in it. I would eat a peanut butter with chunks of Kit Kat in it, and I would definitely dip a Kit Kat in peanut butter. It would have to be good peanut butter. And not crunchy. I don't like crunchy peanut butter. When I was younger, I only liked crunchy. Had you said caramel, though, I would have chosen that. Caramel. Oh, oh God, here you go. Caramel or caramel, right? There's another question. That's a big argument. Caramel or Caramel. Let's say caramel is number one, caramel is two. Throw it in chat. One if you're a caramel person, two if you're a caramel person. I'm caramel. That's how I roll. Uh, Kit Kat with peanut butter in it. Oh, okay, I've never seen those. That sounds good, though. I would eat that. I would try that for sure. Okay, so now we got fluorite water is what I need now. So to make fluorite water, I got to mix, I need a fluid enricher. And throw that crushed fluoride in with the water. Okay. Fluid enricher. We can do that. And richer. Wow. That's, I thought it was, there we go. Fluid enricher. Have I got the parts? I do! 
delicious. Let's go ahead and pop that bad boy right there. We'll steal your components for a minute. Caramel, number two. Number two for Awkward Mancer. Rachel with the number one caramel. I don't know if they sell those in the U.S. I'm from Europe. I believe I have seen the, the caramel eggs, caramel eggs. I'm saying them both ways now, so I don't insult anybody. I've seen them, uh, and I like them. I still think I prefer the Easter cream eggs, though. But that's me, right? And, you know, it doesn't mean I'm right. I mean, usually it does, but that's okay. I won't say I am this time. Hey, real quick, let's go check a couple things. While we're, because I got to go in here and, and get some water source blocks. Let's check our power. Woo! I doubled the size of this, and it's already full. Okay. Well, we're definitely getting all the power we need from our two reactors at this point. So that's good. And let's go check on Sugarcane's done. Let's go check on Netherrack. I did not work on Netherrack this week, so I don't know how far we've gotten. Probably not that far. Four septuples. We still need five, so we're just under halfway. I'm going to have to actually put work into that this week. Try, anyways, while studying for my exam. All right, uh, black holes. I got to go in here. We're going to check our cobblestone black hole, see how close we're getting to the achievement while I steal some water blocks from that one. Boop. We're still only at 830. Oh, my God, we're not even halfway. That thing's been running for a month. This is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to do other things. I'm stealing these because I'm going to need a bunch of them. In fact, I'm going to steal all of them. Because I don't need them here anymore, and I'm going to need them in a bunch of places. And that's just a black hole full of water. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I find I really don't eat jelly beans anymore. No particular reason. I just, there's other stuff I'd rather be eating, you know what I mean? Padap! Automatically put the water in there. See how cool that works? Now we need some of that fluorite stuff. Fluorite, that's flour. I spelled it wrong. Flor there it is. Crushed fluorite. Um, let's go ahead and get that going. And I need something to put that in. I'm going to put that in a... I think we'll make a black hole tank. Probably make a few of those today. Oh, if I got a spare one? I do! Convenience. Let's grab ourselves a cable. Do -do 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 -do. So we're going to need this in a couple places. Ice cream. Oh, you're an ice cream person? I respect that. Favorite flavor of ice cream? Not the best flavor. If I was going to say the best flavor, I would go straight, smooth, no frills, chocolate ice cream. I feel it's the best because I feel it to be the most versatile while still having a flavor to it. I like vanilla ice cream, and on occasion I want vanilla ice cream, but it is rare. And I know you can put stuff all over it. You can put all the same stuff on chocolate ice cream. I feel chocolate ice cream is a step above vanilla. You know, when I think of ice creams, there's your, there's your base flavors, right? Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Those are your, the, your, your Neapolitan. That's, that's your base flavors of ice cream. And then you start messing with your specialty flavors, right? And specialty flavors have a subclass, which are seasonal flavors. Your candy cane, your Christmas wine. Shamrock shakes and stuff like that. But for just your, if I was to go regular specialty ice cream, when I was younger, I really liked Death by Chocolate. And I liked uh, Mayfield's Chocolate Turtles. Like the Turtle Tracks, I believe it was. Moose Tracks was okay too, but I preferred Turtle Tracks because I loved the little chocolate balls of caramel in them. We're just cranking out this fluorite water, getting us a fair little amount here. Because we're going to need it for a couple of different parts of this process. Strawberry or mango? Ooh, mango. For proper green tea. Ugh, I don't like tea of any kind. Flavored things. I don't like tea. I don't like anything tea. I don't like sweet tea and iced tea. And, you know, T-Mobile. I don't like anything tea. You know? <laughs> Nothing really against T-Mobile. I just, that was a joke. Death by chocolate as in the jasmine. No, no. It was an ice cream. It's like, uh, if I remember, it was like a chocolate ice cream with chocolate ripple running through it with chocolate chips and chocolate-covered cookies. It was, like, it was like five different chocolate things mixed in with it. 
So it was like chocolate with massive different types of chocolate. And it was good. Peanut butter eggs is winning. 75% of the vote. Interesting, interesting. I'm learning things about you people. So that I might judge you harshly. Okay. There's fluorite water. So we've got some of that. Now I need sulfuric acid. Now sulfuric acid goes in another rotary condensing treater. Hang on. I think I've got a spare one of those. I don't want to make one if I've got one. Let me look over here and check. I think I made a bunch. Do you have a rotary? I do. Grab that one. No sense wasting time. Building things we don't need. Ooh, I ran into the roof. <laughs> Set that down. I'll come back to that. Because I don't need it yet. I'm going to need it. Because I need to get sulfuric acid first. Which they look to be the same. I don't know what I'm condensing here. Okay. I need sulfur trioxide and water vapor. I don't remember. I don't think that's how I did it. Well, maybe it is. I don't see any other recipe for it. So I need water vapor, which is a deconcentrator de with water in it. So I need another. I need one of these things with water. I'm going to need a couple of these, aren't I? I guess. Okay. Well, we can do that. All right. Uh, let me grab some more power. We're going to need a couple of machines running at once. What the flux? Hole. Yeah. Black hole tank. Black hole tank. I hate that these don't stack. They bother me. So we're going to need a bunch of fluids. I got some to go. All right. So we'll slap this one down here. And we'll go ahead and get him set. Um, key lime pie cheesecake flavors. Awesome as well. I am not a key lime pie fan either. Oddly enough, just not not my jam. Don't like it. All right, water. This I need water. Are you still working? Are you done working? Yes. Give me that. Water. Work. Work now. Why is water not going in there? Maybe it's on the wrong side. There it is. Water vapor. All right. Okay. So I'm going to need another tank, which I need. Cause I'm, I, I think well, you'd think water vapor would be a gas. I think it is a gas. Huh. I'm going to test on the chance that it might not be a gas. Yup. It is a gas. Okay. Ah. Broke a hole. Hmm, I'm going to need a different kind of tank. Interesting. Developments. I don't, I'm not a key lime pie guy. I don't like lime flavored things. Every time I see something green, I think it should be, ta it should taste like apples. Green apple flavor. That's good stuff right there. Low green apple. Love that joker. I'm going to need some tubes. Tubes, right? Gases, yes. All right. Tube. Gas. You taking it? No. Input. There you go. All right. So I was just going to let that build up for a minute because that's just renewable. I don't have to do anything with that. That's just going to keep going until it's full. Um, so, oh, no, we're over here again. All right. So sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. All right, so that's going to give us the water vapor. That was the easy one. Now I need sulfur trioxide. Okay. Which means I need oxygen and sulfur dioxide. Of course I do. Let's start with oxygen. That's an easy one. Crap. That's what I used to get for my deuterium buildup. That's okay. We're just going to use another electrolytic separator. I have more. Grab a couple of these. Yee -hee. All right. And we're going to go on this side. Electrolytic separator. You got some juice? You got some juice. Okay. Right. Let's get in here again. 
this, sulfur trioxide, liquid sulfur trioxide. I need oxygen, which is a byproduct of hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen. Should be just water, right? Yeah, just water. Okay. Cool. We can do that. We'll grab some water again. Or no, that's a little one. Let's grab a big one so it's fast. Work. No, is that it? Is that right? It is, technically. Okay, good. Tubes. So I'm going to need another uh, tank. Get some tanks made. Tank one. Tank two. I usually don't go bigger than three. Three is usually good enough. Okay, two, two, two. Where was it? Where'd that tank go? There it is. Babort. Is that getting the right thing in there? No, it's not, because I forgot to do the thing. Input. Oxygen. Okay, I'm getting oxygen now. Uh, do not like key lime pie itself. Okay. The cream ice cream is really mellow. Okay, that's cool. Cookies and cream ice cream. Don't like that either. My wife really likes that one. Not for me. I will say this. I don't like pretty much anything with the word cream in it. I don't like cream sickles. I don't like cream soda. That I can remember. It's been so long. But I'm pretty sure I didn't like cream soda. All right, so this is good. I got both of those going now. I can just let those run. So we're, we're doing well here. These are making their things here. Uh, get so frustrated with that machine, I could just about rage quit over it. Which one? Which one do you get mad at? This one? The electrolytic separator? Still, I still prefer it over a PRC. All right, hydro. Okay, so there's the water vapor. So now I'm making the oxygen. Now I need sulfur dioxide, which is from sulfur in a chemical oxidizer. Okay, chemical oxidizer. Oxidize. You're going to mess with me, aren't you, oxidizer? I knew it. It's a conspiracy. Pablam. Never pulls one ball in there. Okay, oxide, you're going to need your own power source. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Power? Power, good. Okay. And what I say I need to put I need to put sulfur in there. Sulfur. And I'll need tubes to take it out. And I'll need another tank. I need another tank. Tank, 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 tank. So in my free time, I've been playing the living bejeebas out of some uh, days gone. So much do I enjoy that game. It's so good. I'm not using this. I'm just using it as a placeholder to, so I can set something on top of it. <clears throat> um, so I get through the game, and I get through the story, and I didn't quite realize I was getting to the end. I'm like, oh, there's all these side quests I didn't do. Crap, I would have liked to... But do I really want to go all the way back through it again just to do some of the side quests? I get done the story, and they're like, yes, great job. Now keep playing. And I'm like, What? And sure enough, I could still go back, and now I have the side jobs in every area open, and still a million things to do, and I can just keep playing in the world. I'm like, this is awesome. I feel like I beat the game, but then there's more game. More games need to be like that. You are not a fan of the electrolytic separator, I see. Well, I will have it beaten <laughs> for insulting. Sulfur. I have a little bit. We're going to need more sulfur. Okay. That'll get us started. That is going to be super slow. That's None of these have any of the upgrades in them. I, why do you have my personal shrinking machine? Why? I don't even know why that was happening. We need upgrades in all these. I forgot about that. So slow. Let's see. Upgrades. One, two, three. There's the power upgrades. Let's get those going first. Power. I got the power. Dun, 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 dun. Some old 80s music there. 90s, actually. That might be 90s. Don't hold me to the 80s part. I could be wrong on that. Speed. One, two, three. Go back over right here. Almost. By the way, if you're hanging out out there, it would be awesome if you would mind consider clicking that like button. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't, so that way you can hang out all the time. Because we would love to have you. All right, that's going to crank those out a little bit faster. We're going to need 
more sulfur. And I believe we got that from crushing the diorite. Let us see. Diorite. That is polished diorite. That is not going to do the same thing. Diorite. I can make you all day, baby. I got all day for diorite. Oh, I took the boost side of it. Here, give me these back. No, this, this. No, this is not giving me what I wanted. Okay. Learned a lesson there. Learned a thing or two. All right. So where did I get sulfur from? It's also, it's probably from where we were cracking the other thing. Nuclear craft sulfur. Sulfur dust. Oh, really? You can get it that way? PRC? I don't, I don't think so. I didn't use, oh, crushing netherrack will give you sulfur? I don't think that's what I was using, though, was it? Ah, it was when we were cracking the granite. Okay. All right, so I got to crack granite, I see. Granite it is. Granite. Which, again, should not be hard, because now I made all that diorite. Nineteen ninety. Thank you very much for looking that up. I appreciate it. Now we'll have some extra rubber hop hop hop. I remember automating because when I automated this process, <laughs> automating this whole thing was horrible. It was hard to do in the early game of Sky Factory Four because back then there was no filter in the fluid extraction cable. Where now there is. This built-in filter did not exist when Sky Factory 4 first came out. And it meant that I had no way of specifying which fluid to go into the thing I needed to go into. And it drastically made automation of anything fluid-based so much harder. Because when you automate the end of this, you're producing two fluids. And one of them gets produced way faster. And because of that, it ends up going out both ends. If you have two extract cables, one for each fluid, eventually they both will fill up with the acid you don't need. Which sucked. And there, I don't even need a shrinking ink. Why am I carrying one? Get rid of that. Whoops. All right, we're getting there. Getting some stuff, some things. I don't know why I just did that. I need that sulfur. That was foolish. Give me that back. Keep it coming, children. Keep it coming. That's what I want to see. Some more of those. I don't know why I did that backwards, but okay. Keep it over here for silver. Keep it going. I just want to have, know that we've got a fair amount, so that way I can get what we need to make this middle machine. We're actually going to be done a lot quicker than I thought, because we're not trying to automate it. Because you don't really need it that much. Now, here's the thing. This process is really only needed for two things. This one block that goes in the middle of the reactor, for a fusion reactor, or some of the high-level solar. So if you're wanting to use real high-level solar as your power source, then you automating this would become more important to you. Um, but that's the only real time you would need a large amount of this stuff. The, the stuff we're making, the uh, calcium sulfate. Because these discs that we're making for this right here, the elite plating, the high-level solar needs all those. So the different level plating affects that. So just, you know, kind of giving you a heads up there. If you want to do solar, you will run into needing calcium sulfate in a higher quantity. And it's irritating. Hi, you. What are you doing? Oh, you got something in your eye. Hold on, Buffy's here. I got to get something out of her eye. She got a goopy. There you go. Why do you look so sleepy? If you're so sleepy, why'd you get out of the bed? I don't know why you got out of the bed. Put that in your ear. Hold on one second. You got a dirty ear. You got to clean your ear. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. I was looking at my kitty. Priorities and all, you know. What is it? She's gotten into this thing now. She, I got these little squeezy tube treats. I try to only give them once or twice a week, but now she wants to come up and have one every day, and I gotta keep breaking her of that. No, you can't. And she keeps stabbing me in the arm until she it gets one, or I put her on the floor. It's abuse, really. Uh, 
And he was like, no, you can't have one right now. Heather just fed you. You butt. Oh, where was I going? Over here. Why don't you blow me up like dynamite? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to put you on the floor. Come here. I'm going to pick you up and put you over here. And you're going to say hi to everybody. Come here, look. There's little Buffy. She's saying hello. That's what happens when you're being a butt. I pick you up. You don't like it. You're a good girl, though. You're a good girl. Come on. All right, stop stabbing me in the shoulder now. That hurts. <laughs> We'll let this finish up, and then that'll be how much sulfur we put through. That should be more than enough. I, I probably made excessively more than I'm going to need, but... Better safe than sorry. I can put away all of this stuff. Oop, I threw some other machines in there. This thing's probably filling up with dust and things. Look at all them dusts. All them dusties. Once this is done, we will go on to the final, the next step. Not the final step. The next step. The next final step. Let's look, let's take a look at it. All right. So uh, to get the sulfuric acid, that's the wrong machine. I clicked on it. Hang on. Uh, mechanism. We're using the mechanism one. So I have to put sulfuric trioxide and water. Wait, I'm still making the trioxide. Okay. I needed sulfur dioxide and oxygen in a chemical infuser. Okay. Chemical infuser. Chemical. Did I bring one of those over here? Huh. Didn't make one of those yet. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let me, uh, okay. Chemical infuser. Chemical infuser. I'm allergic to chemical infuser. Could have sworn we made one of these, but I guess not. I made two of these. Wait, is this it here? No, that's a, that's a separator. I'm going. Fuser. So this is the opposite of the separator. The separator takes things apart and makes two gases. The infuser puts it back in together and makes another thing. Uh, I don't know. I guess green is for power. Let me do that. No, wait. Yes, that's right. Green's for power. Now we've got in, in, and the front is out. So I'm going to need more two. Tube, tube, tube. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at our recipe one more time. Uh, no, that's here we go. Sulfuric, trioxide. Okay. So it's diox sulfur on the right, oxygen on the left. Okay. Here's our oxygen, right? That's water vapor. Oh, there's my oxygen. Okay. Oxygen goes on the right. And then we go in and switch this to output. I just put that in the middle. I'm an idiot. Dang it, I wasted that. I'm not a smart man. There, that's right. Okay. And then the water vapor. I don't need the water vapor. I need this top one. This goes on the right. Boy, there's not a lot of that, is there? Holy smokes. That that did not make much. But hopefully it makes enough. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna need a tank to put it in. I didn't think about that. Tank. Really? You're not gonna pull it in automatically? Input. All right. So there's sulfur trioxide. Now I got to do the same setup again, but with other ones. I need another infuser. Another infuser. I forgot. I need all the middle things. All right. One here. Some of those. Um, a couple more of those. All right. And this one will set here to share power. Tube, tube, tube. Okay. And I'm going to need a tank for the end result, I think. So we'll see. 
All right, so now, no, 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 give me the right one, damn it. Mechanism. All right, so now I need water vapor and pink stuff. So here's the water vapor. Shoot, was water vapor on the left or the right? Did anybody see the, nobody noticed, did they? Me either, it's my own fault. Uh, oh, crap, I, want, I need to go up a step. Uh, so water vapor goes on the right, okay. Then this finished project. We're just gonna. Oh, I didn't put any of the upgrades in that either. Okay. Move on. Upgrades again. This is gonna be slow if I don't do it. So, power, power. Speed, speed. Okay. God speeds, machine. Power. I do like that in the new version of updated version of mechanism, you slap the eight in there and all eight going at once. That was a nice upgrade. Again, mechanism most of the mechanism upgrades I've seen to more modern versions have all been pretty good. I can't think of anything in mechanism that I feel they made worse. And compact machines, I only think they made better. So, like I'm good with all of that. Um, there are some I think all the changes to mystical agriculture were bad. <laughs> I don't like any of them. All right, that should help put these. This shouldn't take that long. There wasn't that much in the I guess there was more in the sulfur dioxide than I thought. We're going to give it a minute. I want to make as much as I can. I need to get a, I need another tank to put the finished product. I already said that. Taba. No, that's not how you spell tank. Tank times two. Tank times three. Okay. So all I need is this. Oh, did it stop? Did we finally run out? Oh, we did. Wow, okay. I thought we had more than that. Okay, never mind. Ignore what I was saying. <laughs> Finished product. All right. And there we go. Sulfuric acid. Okay. So now I have to add sulfuric acid and fluorite water in a chemical reactor. Fluorite water and sulfuric acid in a chemical reactor. Okay. I don't think I have one of these yet. Chemical reactor. Oh, I had all the stuff for it, though. That's good. I like that. Where's a power thing I can use? I don't really have any. Oh, yeah, I can put it on top. No, that might mess up tanks. We'll use a separate one. That's nuclear craft. So that means it's going to need these. Chemical reactor. So I got to get this gas in there. And what else? The fluorite water. Where's it? Oh, that's over here. This is the fluorite water. Okay. Which one goes in the left and which one goes on the top? I have forgotten. Uh, doesn't seem to matter. Floor water on the left, I guess. We'll start with that, because I have a good, a little bit of that. Uh, where'd I, where'd I put it? Here we go. Okay, so floor water is going to go there, and that's water, so I'll need a fluid cable. Extraction cable. Padwap. All right, you're good. All right. Now I need, is this done? This is done. Ooh, we do not have a lot of this. Boy, I hope we have enough. I do not want to go through all this again. Uh, I'm going to I need a stacking block. That'll work. Tubes. Output. All right. And there we're getting our calcium sulfate solution, which we have to run into a crystallizer. Okay. Crystallizer. I'm a paralyzed clown who just jumped back. Okay. And I just have to run that fluid into that. And that is a fluid, right? So here's where the here's where the problem starts. This is where the game gets funky for me. Because I gotta pull two fluids out of this. 
right? And you pull the wrong one out, and your day is going to be bad. This is where everything went to hell trying to automate it back in the day. Bank? Why did I put in bank? I wanted a bucket. I need two buckets. Probably one would have worked. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. There's the stuff. So I need to have a cable. Give me all those buckets. Where did those come from? I don't even know. Okay. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I'm gonna need a fluid cable. Fluid cable. A fluid cable that currently has hydrofluoric acid. And a fluid cable that are currently has hydrofluoric acid. You see what I'm talking about? How do you get the other fluid out? If I put another one of these on another side, it's still going to pull hydrofluoric acid. It's so irritating. But there's a way to fix it. Because now we have the filter. So I can go in here and I can blacklist hydrofluoric acid. Which means it's no longer going to let any come out of this side. And I have a black hole tank here, but I'm not going to use it yet. First I'm going to do this. No, I better use a tank or I'm going to mess up my day. Hang on a second. Uh, how many? I got two. Here we go. Here's one. All right. That took all the hydrofluoric acid that was currently in the pipe. That's the part that I, I didn't catch early on. Now when I do this, it should have pulled out the other fluid, but it is not. So we're going to do this. You can also get in here and do these other things, but, you know. I want this to default... Output on the right. Why are you not working for Draven? It's zero. Oh, no. Oh, because this has to have somewhere to go. That's my problem. Uh, where's that other tank I had? Here it is. Um, oh, hey, I, I forgot. almost forgot a step. almost forgot a step. I got a white listed in here. Then, padap! That's going to clear that out, which lets the machine keep running. But this stuff is still not coming out of here. i got to figure out why. Output tank. Right. That's the right-hand side. Output. Why is that not coming out? It's a fluid... Again, this is why I hate messing with this stuff. This last step is what messes up everything. How about now? Nope, still not going in there. Why is this not pulling anything out? Get some of this stuff out of my way. Blue extract cable. Cyclic, there's nothing in it. It's empty. It's empty, right? Yes. Where's the power here? Hmm. Megum is actually pretty decent compared to output sides. How about now? Yes. There we go. Okay. I don't have any upgrades because I put them in this machine. Upgrades. Uh, upgrades, 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 upgrades. Where are they at? No, there they are. Stack for you. And a stack of you. Go faster. I need four. That's all I need is four. There we go. All of that for those four is all I needed. Don't hold me to that. No, what am I doing? I don't need that now. Now I need this. This. I need crystal binder. This. Okay, I needed eight. I was wrong. I needed eight. But I got more than eight. That's all that matters. Do 
24. One, two. I have to make two of those. I forgot. I need a small reactor and a large reactor. Okay. Now we go back to building the other things again. That's okay. It's okay. The hard part's done now. I promise. The hard part's done now. Except I forgot to make some of those. But that's okay. Make a stack of those. I'm tired of them. Forgot about the having to make two of these. I'm glad I remembered it right now, though. What in the world did I run out of? These again. Give me a stack of those. I'm tired of making them. Another one of these. Yes. Yeah, I need the middle thing again. Okay. No, that's not it. Why well, you no work? Oh, I need this. I need DU plating. I need sulfur. Use all my sulfur. Okay. That's okay, though. We're still in the game. All I got to do is come over here, huh? Take those out of there. We got enough of the end product that I feel comfortable. I'm not worried about that anymore. Throw these back in here. And we're going to need to grab some more granite. Get just a little bit, a little, little bit, a little bit of sulfur. I'm hoping this sulfur will work. Because it's not the same sulfur. 16. That should have been enough. Yep. It worked. I think. One. Wait. How many? Do I only have one? I don't have one. One. Okay. Well, I made one. There's something. Okay. There we go. Two, three, four. There we go. Three more. This thing. Number two. All right, there we go. Success. What a mess. Okay. <laughs> now we can bring in the hard stuff of actually building the dang thing. Okay. So let's get ourselves some bricks for building. I like to use bricks when building, whenever possible. We're going to build the large one first. Because it's going to be against this back wall. And the small one's going to kind of be in front of it because we can walk around it easier. So the big one's going to go in the back. So I got to make sure I got enough room for the back. All right. So right off the bat, I need one, two, three, four. That gives me enough room to walk around it. And then I'm going to need outer wall, middle, inner wall. Okay. All right. There we go. Nuclear... Oh, I haven't put in the at symbol. Nuclear craft. Now we're getting into the mama jamma of it all. As soon as I find the components I'm looking for that are escaping my... Here they are. Fusion electromagnets. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the squares that connect it to the middle. Which ones are those? Why am I not seeing everything for the fusion reactor in mechanism? It's a square. I know what it looks like. Oh, there's there's the thing finally. It's a fusion. So here's we go. Fusion connector. That's what I'm looking for. Thank God. Okay. I need like a bunch of these. So two stacks will get us there. All right. So that's the four spaces, the three of the connectors. That's going to be the outer ring of this thing, and then this is going to. I'm going to throw it on the ground like an idiot. But then I'm going to pick it back up again eventually. Okay. One, two, three. Stop it. I did it again. Three, right? Three. Four, five, six. Uh, hold on a minute. I did not build this high enough. I forgot about that. I need to leave room underneath so I have room to work. Okay. In theory, that was what we were doing was right. Okay. So I need, let's try that again. We're going to build it up a bit so I have room to work. Two, three, four room to work. One, two, three. Outer ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Is that gonna fit? 
could have swore I'd made enough room for it to fit. Okay. One middle of the thing. Blark. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, twenty-four. Oh my lord! I don't think we're gonna have room! Oh no! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, two, three, three, twenty-four. Okay. We, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Technically, I have room. That's the outer ring. It just means it's going to touch on that side. Two, three. One, two, three, four. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, all right, cool. All right, so here, here's how this is going to work. Here, here's how this is going to work. Listen, listen to Draven. <laughs> Follow me on what I'm about to say. I'm going to make life harder for myself. One, two. Did I add two? Did I add, did I add more than two? How many two did I? Shit. Hang on. One, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 3, 14. Now I think I may have counted wrong. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 24. Okay. How much room do you got? Pop that off. So that's actually 25. I like that. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. So that's 25, which means I can get rid of one here. Clear that out. I do like when this explodes. Blah, 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 blah. Looks cool. Where'd it go? There it is. Every time that happens, I think it blew up. <laughs> oh, these stack. I didn't know that. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Well, right off the bat, those are gonna have to clear out. Yeah, make making things bad for me is is what I do, right? Okay, all right, so let's try this here. We got, we're adding one, two, three, which means I need to remove three. Don't break. One, two, three. Okay, now we got a little room on every side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, two, two three, twenty-four. Okay, room, yes, everything. He's coming up, Draven. Last side. Remember, I still got to build the small one somewhere. I may build it above it, to be honest with you. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 24. Beauty. Okay, that worked out well. That worked out well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tempest X, or 5X says, Hey, man, playing Sky Factory right now, and I had a question on how to get ore dust from the more rare resources. Or dust. Okay, I can help you there. Uh, I think, if, I, if I'm following what you're asking for. So, to get a hold of just or in general, if, if that's what you're looking for. Let me, let me pull up dust. Let me take a look here and see what you're talking about. Give me an example of one that you're looking for. Like iron dust? Or graphite dust? I'm new to modded. No, 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 you're fine, boss. No, you're fine. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I don't understand much, but I'm doing truffles now. Oh, yes. Okay. I totally understand what you're doing, what you're looking for. I have got your back, boss. All right. So right off the bat, 
Let's just say you need iron dust, right? Luckily, you don't actually need to have ore to get that. I should have put in iron dust. That would have been way smarter. But let's let's say you want to make a thorium one. There we go. Let's pick a rare one, right? So all, first thing you got to do, say I got thorium dust, right? Uh, thorium's bad. Let me say uranium because I'm using my thorium for something else, so there's none in here. All right, say you want uranium dust to make your uranium pig, right? Magnesium. Okay, I just saw you put that in there. Magnesium. Beautiful. All right. All you got to do is get yourself a magnesium ingot and put it in a crusher. Now, this is a crushing factory, advanced crushing factory. But a regular crusher will work. It's the same thing. The factory is just an advanced part of it. So get yourself a, not a rock crusher. Uh, here it is. A crusher. This is from Mechanism. Okay. With a Mechanism crusher. Let me... It's pretty easy. It's just some basic redstone, a steel casing. You'll need steel by this point. If you don't have it yet, we can work on that together. Two buckets of lava and two basic control circuits, which aren't hard. It's just a metallurgic infuser with some redstone and some osmium ingots. If you already have magnesium, you should probably have what we're looking at. So you want to get yourself a hold of a crusher, power it, set it down, and then just put that in there. Now, the advanced crushing factory is the same thing, except it has five slots. So you pop that in there. It's going to turn it into dust for you. Like in my case, it, it put it in here automatically in my system. But yeah, all you got to do is put it in a crusher and it will crush it into dust. Now that's most materials. If you have a material that you want dust for and the crusher won't take it, like it won't even let you put it inside, try cr then using it in a manufactory. A manufactory will crush some things that a crusher will not. Um... And it'll do a lot of the same things a crusher will, but not all of them. It's weird. None, neither one of them do all of it. Where's my drink? There it is. Um, but yeah, that's how you get magnesium dust, thorium dust, iron dust, gold dust, anything you need. All you got to do is get an ingot. You don't even need the ore for it, which makes you, it makes you think you do the first time you're playing it. But you don't need the raw ore. Although, if you ever did want the ore, there's a couple ways you can do that too. You can go to the Lost Cities or the Twilight Forest and you can mine almost every one of those basic resources right there. And then the other thing is you can get yourself a laser drill which will basically slowly give you ore blocks of all the different types of ore as well. Laser farm. Yep. Yeah, there you go. User mode said the same thing. So a laser drill is usually going to be a laser drill base with... One la You can have one, two, three, or four connected to it, one on each side. So let's just say, hypothetically, let's say this was my base, right? Then I could put, or that's my, then I could put a laser drill here, laser drill here, laser drill here, laser drill here. And if they're facing the right direction and they've got power, then these drills are going to start putting, well, not that, they're going to start putting ore inside the laser base for you. And you can take it out put an extraction cable, have it going to a chest so you don't have to come back all the time, and that laser drill will gather those items for you. Laser drill takes a little bit to put together. That it's, it's not real hard. The hard part is it takes a lot of power. And then once you do that, I'm going inside a compact machine. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you laser drills. This is, a la this is my laser drill farm. These are all laser drills, right? Now, instead of doing it on all four sides, I'm doing it on three sides. So you got your base, a drill, a drill, and a drill. And then I just kept building that on top of each other. And what this does is this, the 2%, 3%, 4%, so on and so forth. And then it will take, it'll give you ore block. When that hits the top, it'll give you an ore block. Now me, I have a cable pulling it out one side because I can't pull it out the top or bottom, obviously. And then that just feeds all of those into my, into my system. But a single laser drill with three or four bases on it Get that going as early as you can, and it'll just slowly start giving you ore. From coal, to iron, to gold, to uranium, to whatever. The earlier you can get it, the better off you're going to be later, because you'll have a little bit of these materials built up for you already. Disclaimer. The hardest one to get is platinum. And the chance that it's actually going to pop out a laser drill is almost non-existent. As it is, but if you go inside your laser drill, not that one, and you add six light blue laser lens, which aren't the easiest to make, but you can do that, and then change this to 10, 
it drastically increases the chance of getting platinum. The laser drill, in my opinion, never provides platinum at a fast enough rate unless I put all of these full of blue and then I'm getting less of the other stuff. So once you get enough platinum to make a platinum seed, which should be four ingots, really, you need four ore, and if you put it in the manufactory, then you get to double it. Um, but if you if you get yourself enough to make one platinum seed, you'll be way better off. Then plant that seed, let it build up some essence, then use that platinum to make more platinum seeds. Get your little platinum farm going. Because platinum you're going to need 10,000 of if you want to do all of the achievements. Uh, you'll need one for the pig, but you'll also need 10,000 for later. Um, but yeah, you need to get to get some platinum. You can also go mine it too, in the Lost Cities and in uh, Twilight Forest. But it's also still pretty rare. Uh, it's it's you'll be searching for a while unless you luck out, of course. Um, so I recommend putting a laser drill. Get you just four or two if you use the manufactory. Get yourself four ingots to make one seed, and from that point, let your platinum come from mystical agriculture. Uh, this here. The reason this looks like this is because everything that gets pulled out from my laser drills gets funneled into different machines. So, for example, this is me. Don't do all this on your first try. I'm running all of the ore through a manufactory. So what that does is it breaks it into dust, but you get two dust from every block of ore. So then I cook it in a smelting factory, which is like a crushing factory. It's like a smelter, but does more than one. Then for every ore I get, I get two ingots. This smelts it and puts it in my system. Now, some of the blocks that you get out of there don't smelt. Aquamarine, coal, redstone, diamonds. These are things that you break the block to get the stuff out of them. So all those funnel out here and get broken and picked up. Like that's lapis and redstone. All those are going to pop in there. So there's aquamarine. So this one drops it. This one breaks it. This one picks it up, kicks it into my system. And this builds up the experience that drops out every time you break a block like that. And then there are a couple of blocks that you just want to keep them in their natural form. Glowstone and uh, whatever those rock crystals are from star, uh, Astral Sorcery. You're going to get so many of those, you don't want to break all those. It'll fill up your storage system. So just feed those blocks directly into your storage. Mm. But to answer your much easier question at the beginning, which was how to get, magne how to get the dust, throw them in a crusher. The ingot of your choice, and that will do it for you. I know it was a very long answer, but uh, I wanted to be thorough. If you have any more questions, though, hit me with it. Uh, that's that's what I'm here for. That's why I started streaming. So if you got questions, I can answer them for you in real time. All right. We have this one. The big one. See, I, my first thought here is to put the small one above it, but if by some chance we were to experience a meltdown, it would damage the one beneath it. Which is a concern. I don't think we're going to have meltdown. We're way too cool for that. But just in case. Uh, Tempest says, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Jump in here. I stream every Sunday and Monday night here. Uh, it's not always Sky Factory 4. I do different packs. But every few packs, I come back and do a different Sky Factory 4 run. This one's Volcano Factory. So it's like Sky Factory. It's Sky Factory 4, but it's a world type that instead of starting... In the sky, you start in a world that's complete in a little glass box. The whole world is lava. So it adds some new challenges to the playthrough. But I'm always here. Hit me up. A Discord link is down in the description of the stream as well. Myself and a bunch of way smarter people are always in there helping out and answering questions as well. So feel free to join the Discord. If you got questions outside of the stream, we are happy to help. I'll get with you as quickly as I can. When I'm at work, I'm a little limited on how quickly I can respond. But I promise I'll try <laughs> as quickly as I can. All right, let's see. Yeah, the meltdown is a bit of a concern. A little bit of a concern. I, w I was thinking, what if I made one small enough that it fit inside of this, and like this corner, and then put it above it, so if it melt down, it would fall in between. See what I'm thinking? You see what I'm saying with that? I'm thinking about trying that. We'll worry about that in a minute. First, we need to build the outer ring. So that's our next step. Outer ring. Nuclear craft. We are currently working on what I consider to be the hardest achievement in this in Sky Factory 4. 
That's doable. Let me let me clarify that. Oh, you know what? I, I thought about using the clear ones for once. I've never used the clear ones. Maybe I oh I could just change them with glass. Oh maybe we'll use clear ones for once. What do you guys think about that? How do you feel about that? Is that alright with you guys if I do some clear ones for once? I've never done that. Incompetent. Oh, wait a minute. Awkward popped in. I got more Sky 4 a bit fast this time and download all the mods 9. Last one I added Cyclic to it, it broke to pieces. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's another reason I avoid adding mods to packs. That somebody's already gone through all the work to make sure it works. If you're just making your own pack and throwing stuff in there, that's not that bad. Adding it to a generic world. But the more mods that are in a pack, the more likely adding a mod will mess it up, right? Uh, Incompetence says, hi, I used to be a viewer for every stream, but life got really busy. Understandable, it happens. Uh, found time to come back. Hey, welcome back. New name, but it's great to see you as well, Incompetent. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. You're just happy to see you. I'm going to keep these. We're going to need these. I'm glad to see you, and welcome back. Life does get in the way. Sometimes I don't even make it. Oh, I forgot to put these in there. Give me this. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to make some clear ones this one. Oh, the invite link isn't working? Hmm, Discord might have done an update. Bear with me a moment. I will get a new one and put it in chat, and then I'll fix the link after the stream. Uh, invite people. Yes. No, not invite people. I need this. I need the, the button. Server invite to a friend. Yes. Edit invite link. That's what I want. Expire never. Maximum news. No limits. That's how I rule here. No limits here. Except for don't break the rules. <laughs> Generate new link. Okay. I've copied this link. I would put it in the chat. Ba-doop. Try that one and tell me if that works. Hopefully it does. Every so often it messes it up, which makes me funky, right? Because then I'm like, I have to go back to every video I've ever done and stream, which is thousands at this point, and update it. Like crazy so if you're ever watching a video and it doesn't work if you're watching this one later i will keep it updated on my website there's usually a link at the top of my website onlydraven.com as well and if not there's an email link at the bottom you can always email me that it doesn't work or post it in comments and i'll get back with you as quickly as i can i promise okay dokie let's try these clear things and see how they work for dry eyes try clear eyes i don't know why that popped into my head ben stein didn't he turn out to be a nut? Maybe I'm wrong. I may be thinking somebody different. If Ben Stein's not a nut, I apologize. I genuinely don't remember. I'm thinking it was Ben Stein, but it might have been somebody very different. I just don't know who else it would have been that's like Ben Stein. Who else is like Ben Stein? I did enjoy ben, Win Ben Stein's Money. That was a that was a great game show. I don't watch a lot of game shows. But when I do, I drink Dosecchi's. I'm just kidding. I don't drink Dosecchi's. Don't drink beer. Beer is nasty. By the way, I still got a poll up there. We're asking people, which is better? Doesn't mean it's the best Easter candy. You can like something more. I just want to know which you like more out of Cadbury Easter Cream Eggs. I'm going to have a poll. I'm going to try to have a poll in every stream that's not Merge Worlds. Merge Worlds is a special thing. So, Padap. All right, we got... Two. Well, I'm going to need so many more of these. So many more. Okay. Uh, what mod pack are you going to play after this world? That is a great question. Let's talk about that after I answer the next question. Because that was going to be longer. I'll be right back, user mode, for that. Uh, I thought you had to be a member to get access to the Discord. No, there are members-only sections of the Discord. So in the Discord, you'll see things that are members-only. Like members' threads. People who are not members can't even see them. So as a member, you will see things that other people will not, which is going to matter more here in the upcoming future as I move into adding some additional perks for members and my Patreon goes active again. So I've got some stuff coming for all that, so bear with me. I've got some new perks that are going to be added for everybody. Uh, and with the Patreon, there'll be some additional perks for different levels of the Patreon. But I want to stress that the people who are members here or subs on Twitch, none of your perks are going to go away. I'm just going to be adding additional stuff on top of that for people who might want to go a little bit higher above and get some extra stuff for some additional... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
support of the channel. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Where did the thing go I was using? There it is. I still need to make the tier two of that. I forgot. Blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, because you said it's going to be benefit beneficial to a member. It is. It's going to be benefit. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Discord is always beneficial to everybody. Everybody should do that. But definitely for members, yes. Because here in the near future, we're going. I'm going to. Some of the perks you're going to start seeing is going to be a members only game night, which is Twitch subs and members, and it won't be a public stream. I'm just going to stream it through Discord for the people who are. Because if I do it, here's why. Here's why. I have a Twitch that I stream on occasionally, and I have YouTube that I stream on every week. And the perks for both are about the same if you're a sub there or a member here, right? But it's hard to do the same reward here than there and fit it all in a schedule. But if because of Discord and the way it's set up and some new improvements, I can stream directly to those people with that access, and we can just have a fun night. And it may allow me to start adding voice chat in when we do some things like Jackbox Night. Still going to have public Jackbox Night. And the perk of members get a head start. All that stays the same. We're not taking away anything that's there. I'm just going to be adding some extra stuff for those people who are members here, subs on Twitch, and Patreon. Pa Patriots? Patri honors. What's the word for people who are on Patreon? I don't know. Uh, those people will have some perks. So that's there's that. Uh, all of my nine seeds almost playable if you want to try it. But I would give it a bit more time to ripen up. Yep, not going to do that uh, right away. And here's why. We actually talked about this last week. Why did I run out of my things? Oh, I ran out of these. Um, there, the very first non-patrons, that's the word. Thank you, Awkward. The very first non-Sky Factory pack that I ever played, I hated and had a miserable time with it. But it was very, very early into my streaming. I'd only ever played Sky Factory 3 and Sky Factory 4, I believe. I don't know if we'd done Stone Block 2 at that point. I don't think we had. Um, and because of that, uh, you know, it's come back up over over the years about that one and the joke that I hated it as much as I did. Uh, but you know what? We're going to go back and we're going to give it a shot. I used all my copper solenoids again. We're going to go back and I'm going to replay Volcano Block. Um, which I even had some tutorials for. It's still on my channel, to be honest with you. Probably update those. I'm going to go back and we're going to get Volcano Block back out of the closet. Dust it off. And uh, give that a shot. Why am I running out of everything? I need so many of these things. No, that's not what I want. I want this one. There it is. All right, there's a bunch. Okay, that should help me out here. So yeah, we're going to try Volcano Block, which in itself is not a huge pack. So I don't think it'll take super, super long. And a lot of the stuff that was in that pack I'd never messed with before, and now I have a lot more experience. So I will have an easier time with some of it. <laughs> I hope. God, I hope. Um, but yes, we're going to do a Volcano Block playthrough. I'm concerned. <laughs> we'll see if... Did I really hate it, or was I just inexperienced at packs... And not used to... I was so into Sky Factory that I just didn't have the experience in other stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, we're going to have to move these tanks down there because they're going to be right underneath and in the way. Uh, let's see. Steven, hello, Steven. Good day, sir. Happy Easter to you as well. Tyler says, so I just started watching your Volcano Block videos in a while. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you were there. You see it, yeah. Yeah, not my jam. <laughs> was whoops, was not my jam. Uh, but again, could have been just my own inexperience. You know what I'm saying? So I'm willing. I'll give another shot. I'll give another shot. There have been other packs that I haven't liked as well, uh, but that one is the one I, I most hated. And now, and the other flip side of that, right? It could have been updated since then too, right? So they may have improved on some of the things I didn't like if they kept up on it. Sky Factory's changed a lot since then. So it's always possible there as well. So, you know. We'll see, right? 
Uh, I want to say this is the one block it didn't work on, but don't hold me to that. You could be correct. The gadget might... There's something it doesn't work on that we use all the... Yeah, invalid block. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't work on these blocks. I was thinking it was this one. It will work on the fission reactor over there, but it does not work on the fusion reactor blocks. Unfortunately. Get iron. Uh, iron for everything you really hated. I did. I did. Now, again, the storage at that time was... was Crates and stuff. Now, I'm, I'm way more experienced with crates. Because, again, remember, there were things in there I hated that now I don't hate as much because I found things I hate more. <laughs> I'll take crates over AE storage any day. I got room for... Yeah, I got a little bit of room there. The three is going to suggest that stone block three, however, is extremely... Yeah, I, I didn't like stone block three. We're probably not going to have that one. Stone block two, awesome pack. One, also awesome. Three, not so much. Okay, put that there. It's the next one. Okay. Still not going to have enough, but I have to make more of these, but that's okay. I haven't even made the, uh, the little one yet. We're just getting the big one built first. Hey, you know what, incompetent boss? You are preaching to my choir, my friend. I also do not like create, and it's unfortunately made stone block three unplayable. So that is why I don't like it as well. And two is one of my favorite packs. Again, I'd have to say after Sky Factory three and four, stone block two is probably my my favorite pack that I can think of. There's a lot of really good ones that have jumped out lately. We've had some really good experiences with the All the Mod series. I'm not going to have a nerf. <laughs> okay. It's going to make it hard to see that with it being glass. Hopefully when it fills up with fluids, it looks cooler. Uh, Skyrim 5 is heavily based around crate. So my understanding is it's in there. It uh, can be a large part, but it's not railroading you to have to use it. Actually, I want to leave that there. Um, that it is still going to be optional. And I'm hoping that that stays consistent. I don't need that. All right, we need more of these. So I need more of these. Luckily, I have a lot of this stuff ready. Pack for us and our friends, and this has no tech mods. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I can't. What? I stopped. What stopped? Why did it stop? What happened? What disappeared? Oh, I missed. I ran out of those. That's okay. That's a lot of these. So hopefully, you got to remember, even though that's a lot of those, I got to use four for every one of these blocks, right? That's one thing that uses up a bunch of. Okay, let's put all those in there. Let's turn those into glass. Glass I got on lock. Okay, and we will continue. Again, I'm fine with packs that have stuff in it I don't like. Just don't force me to use it. Again, my favorite thing about Sky Factory 4, and it's one reason that I keep coming back to it, there's so many different mods in this pack, and almost all of them, other than saplings, <laughs> are optional. I could do a playthrough where I only use AE storage. I could do a playthrough where I only use Sybil storage, which is what I like to call every playthrough. <laughs> but... You know what I mean? I could say I'm not going to use Mystic Agriculture this time, or I could be I'm not going to use a laser. I'm not going to use robot. You know, I haven't done it. I've done it without being an android before. I mean, there's one of the different challenges that I have been given that I've enjoyed doing because of that. Okay, last one. Boop. The bottle. So we're gonna get this one built. Then we're gonna go build the small one. Hey, happy Easter to you too, boss. Uh, every time I'm in there, it's great stuff. Yeah, well, again, creates a, a monster. And don't get me wrong. I mean, I have no choice. If creates in there, I'll have to choke on my own vomit and get through it. But oddly enough, you ready for it? I'm about to say something <gasps> blasphemous. You ready for it? 
I would rather use AE than create. And you know my feeling on AE. Just to clarify that for everybody. If I had to use one or the other, I could... AE is still a good system when you have it set up. It's just hell to set up. Personal opinion. Um, but create just makes everything harder with no benefit. And I don't like it. Uh, sure, because it makes everything harder with no benefit. Take a look at Stone Block 3. All it, <laughs> it made everything you normally do way harder and take way longer. You look at something like Tinkers, right? If I get a hold of, let's just say Sky Factory 4, right? Sky Factory 4. Um, I have saplings, right? I can use that sapling to make amber, slap that amber in a furnace and cook it. And I'll get one ingot. <clears throat> Or I can go through all the trouble of building a smeltery. It's, it's work at the beginning, especially early on. You're trying to grind the clay and the sand and the, uh, what's it, the gravel and get all the things put together and make the grout, cook it all. You're doing all of those steps, right? But when you're done doing it, now I'm getting two ingots for every one amber. There's a reason to take that longer, more difficult step because there's a benefit. It gives me something worth doing at the end. And a lot of systems and, and packs are like that. Hey, mystical agriculture takes a while to get it going, but once I have iron seeds, boy, is that awesome. It's going to throw iron at me and I don't need saplings anymore. You know, there's reasons to go through the trouble to get the payout. Create only makes things harder to get the things you used to get anyways. Best example I like to use is stone block three and the chickens. What? Like a 10 by 10 grid of combining all these things together just to get a green chicken. Not two green chickens or a green chicken that's already level 10, 10, 10. A reason to do it the long, arduous, boring way with water wheels and wind and all this stuff. There's no payoff. There's nothing different about that chicken I would get if I just put the stuff in a crafting table and made the chicken. If you're going to make me take twice as long to do something I normally can do in five seconds, make there a reason for it. Give me a benefit so I feel like I've achieved something. It's warranted me to put that time and effort in. Stoneblock 3 does not do that. Stoneblock 3, the create stuff, all it does is take basic processes, make them way harder, and slow you down. And in my mind, a lot of times, packs like that, it's the illusion of giving you more content without giving you content. Wow, it took me just as long to play this pack as it did Stone Block 2. But Stone Block 2 may have had way more content. So my 3 just took way long to get through every step. So it felt like I was in it just as long. There's my opinion. Pretty animations. The animations look fine. It's not an ugly pack by any means. I'm out again. I need more. I'm running out of everything. I knew this was going to take a while. I got to make a million of these things. Not inside of here yet. I don't need those extra. Okay, we need more of these. Okay, which means I need more of these. Okay, which means I need more of the little ones in the middle. Okay. Can I do this without making shears? Speed clicking! Sweet. I didn't run out. Nice. Okay. I will make a bunch of these till we run out. Again, if I make too many of these, I'm not worried about it. I wonder if I can take these apart in the take apart machine. Somebody remind me to test that in a minute. Once I've got this built. See if these take apart. Because if they do, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be a good way to get some of that stuff back. Probably going to run out of copper solenoids. I was saying it as it happened. Here's a more realistic mod. It shows what it would be like if we were doing it in the real world. As far as you're going better. I can't really say that. Again, I don't play video games to be in the real world, right? And this is going to... Hopefully this doesn't come off bad. I don't want a process that's more realistic so that I can make an iron that sh a chicken that shits iron. You know what I mean? Why do I need a more realistic process to make a chicken that shits iron? 
I didn't come for the realism. <laughs> but that's me. Everybody's entitled, right? No, I'm still going to make extra of these. How is it crafting so fast? Okay. User mode A. I can help you there. Sometimes it's going to depend on what you're crafting. Okay. Um, anything <laughs> that's in containing any component that is provided by a sapling. Uh, so ambers especially. Ambers will lag out the system. Still has it to me. That's a big part of it. Number two, I've got about 18 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes. Like I have a lot of RAM allocated to this pack. Uh, I fortunately have a lot of RAM to play with. Uh, so I have it cranked up to the max. But aside from that, I still will see lag, especially with things like amber or even putting together diamonds from the acorns. That stuff will really slow things down. And it's just how simple storage um, works with the sapling mod. There are other ones as well, for sure. But those are the big ones that I run into. Okay, now I'm going to make some more of these. Okay, that's enough for the big one, for sure. Oh, there we are. Wow, it was only that short? That's irritating. <laughs> oh, we hopefully have enough for the little one now. All right. All right, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. That is a tight fit. No, I'll ref refrain. Um, I'm thinking about putting the little one in this back corner and building it in such a way <laughs> that it uh, fits within this one. But I'm also going to have coolers in here. No, I won't. I won't. I want to have a cooler in here. So if I... Let me see here. So that would be what I would want to be the corner of the little one. What's with the pole? Uh, mostly, I have the ability to make poles now, and I wanted to try it and see how it worked. Uh, but today's Easter, and so I thought I would see, because I was in a conversation in my regular life that was uh, about this. <laughs> so that's why I was asking. Um, all right, this is going to be our outer ring. Yes, this is going to be our outer ring. All right, and then I'm going to have to bring this up here to make sure we do the same. Once we see how many we've got, it'll make it easier. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Crap, I lost count. That's okay, though. I gotta see if that's an even or odd number, too. That's another thing that's a problem. Because it's gotta be an uh, odd number for this to work. <clears throat> 20 gigabytes allocated my Minecraft, and it's still lagging amber. When using a remote, like I said, mine still does when I use a remote. Amber is the, is the thing that jags it the most, for sure. Alright, now I've gotta count these. So, here we go. Easiest way to count something when it's clear like this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Odd number. Where? That works out well. So if that's the odd, 25, middle would be 13. 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Another reason I like to use brick is it's way easier to count with the solid line of brick than it is cobblestone where it all meshes together and you're trying to look at that thin, nearly invisible line. For those people who might have been wondering. That's why I like to build with bricks. Um, okay, so if that's 13, right? That means that's going to be the... Oh, why did I do that? That's going to be the inner row, which means... Why did I do that? But that's not how you spell nuclear. Don't start nuclear with a B. That's not how it works. Here we go. So that was 15, 14, 13. This is going to be smaller than I thought. One, two, three. So. Let me try that again. 15, 14, 13. I have to build this all the way out. 
to make sure it fits. Okay. I know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to make it work, so bear with me. Uh, whoops. That's not the block I want. That's the block I want. Uh, I guess that is going to kind of overflow it. Hopefully it doesn't melt down then, because the whole meltdown don't destroy the thing is going to go to crap here in a second. <laughs> It should be. It was 15, and that's 13. That'll put 12 on each side. Coming up from the corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 on both sides. I just got to make sure it's the same math this way, which it should be, in theory. That's just science. So we got... My bricks back. Yeah, I removed the stone pillar, but then I put a glass one on top of it. Yeah, we're good. All right, so that means I need to find the middle of this one. Well, I need to find 13, right? Or 15. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boop, and then it should be 14 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a minute. That's not right. Where'd I mess that up? Oh, I did. I know what I did wrong. I did 15 and then 10. That's stupid. It's actually 13 is where the middle's supposed to be. I'm a dumbass. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is why I did the bricks. That's two because I got to count the corner. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's the middle. That should be twelve then. One, two, three, six, seven. Yes, it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, it is correct. Do, do, do. And then the first glass one will go here. You, 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 you. Okay, now now here's where I gotta map it out. So this has got to be one more here. You, 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 you. Oh, pooper nipple! I forgot. I vein mine by accident. One, two, right? Uh, yes, that is correct. Regular mine, Draven. Regular mine. Not the vein mine. Where is my... There it is. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, my goodness! I can't believe this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the size of the small one I wanted to make. It actually works out perfectly. I didn't realize it was going to work out like that. That's awesome. One... Five, six, seven, eight. And we have just enough blocks to do it. Wow, everything's coming up Draven today, guys. I can't tell you how happy I am to see that. <laughs> that makes me happy. In the pants. Blah, 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 blah. Let me get rid of all that stuff. Now I'm golden. Okay, doke. That's, I'm still doing the outer ring. Right now. We'll do the inner ring in a minute. Boop, come on. Always do the bottom last. It's faster. It, it's not going to seem faster, but it will in a minute when I tell you why. Alright, there's the outer ring. Now we're going to do the inner ring. We're going to do the top. I will need a brick to start from. Break that in a minute. And now I've got guardrails. Oh, I didn't do this side. Crap. I missed the part. Foolish Draven. There we go. 
See, if you do the bottom first and the top last, which I've done foolishly in the past, then when it comes time to actually put the top on, it's so hard to line up because I auto step is on when you have the armor do and all that stuff. And walking backwards, I keep walking off to the side and going up and down and blah, 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 blah. But this way I get to fly with guardrails. Oops, I got click though. If I click your buttons, oh, that's not going to help anybody. What's this? Oh, that's in the way. Thank you. There's the top. And on the bottom, same thing. Guardrail. Now I got to do to do this. Convenience. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. Oh, we're going to have enough beauty. Whoops. There's that. I went and checked a previous build to verify measurement sizes to make sure I was using the right size of things so we didn't get halfway through and find out I built something wrong. Like we did with the fission reactor. Alrighty. Yeet. There we go. We have a big one and we have a little one. This is in the way now. Got to get rid of that. Did you get rid of this one? I did already. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, let's get the other components. So now that we have that on, powering them is one thing we have to do with. But before we do that, let's talk about coolant. I need to find the coolant block. There it is. Active fluid cooler. Okay. So for the small one, I need 14 per corner. So that's 28, 52 of these. Okay. I always forget to do it in the remote. I need 52 of the active fluid coolers. Let's just go right ahead and make a couple stacks of these because I'm sure we're going to need them. And I can fluid cooler. What am I missing on the edges? Oh, more of these. Sweet. Funk. There's 64. That's more than I need. But I'm going to need some on the other one as well. Okay, so we've got one, two, two, three, one, two, three. Wait, this is the box. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Take that back. I'm sorry. This is the big one. The big one is one and one. It's a little hard with the glass to tell where I'm putting stuff. <laughs> but that's okay. One and one. Are the loneliest numbers that you will ever do. Trust me, I know that. Two can be as sad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. Ah, oh. that is a song by Three Dog Night. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, it's a good song. Okay. Do, 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 do. Please feel free to ask questions if you don't know what I'm doing. I am happy to explain. Three, one, two, three. Nope, that doesn't go there. I knew I was going to do that eventually. Uncraft. Yes, I will do the uncraft in just a moment after I get these. Oh, 14. That means we had the perfect amount. Again, everything's coming up to Raven. Wonderful. Wonderful. That is phenomenal. Now, very common question. Why is it the big one has less coolers than the little one? Test question. See if anybody can tell me why that is. It's okay if you don't know. I'm, I'm just wondering if anybody remembers. Ah, Stephen asked that question. Excellent. Stephen, you've asked the question I was just asking. <laughs> I can answer that question for you, and I will tell you why. It depends on what we're using to cool it. So I am using water to cool the uh, smaller one. And I'm using liquid diamond to cool the larger one. And the reason for that is when I tried water on the larger one, I couldn't keep it cold enough. So we found diamond was exactly what I needed. And I only needed one cooler of each to do it. 
So then I tried to put diamond on the small one, only to find that diamond was too cold, even with just one block, and I couldn't get it up to the right temperature because it just didn't work. You know what? That would have been smarter if I'd have put that in the middle. I realize this now. But that's okay. Now it's going to bug me. <laughs> it's going to bug the living hell out of me. Hold on. i got to fix this. For aesthetics and looks, it's just going to look better if I do that and that. I don't know why I went opposite corner there, too. That was... Again, I, I failed to, to achieve this achievement like, what, five, six playthroughs? Public, not counting the private ones, I think, before we finally got it right. Skygrid was the first time that I got it right. And then I got it right a time after that. So I know I've got it right twice. So... This will be my third time getting this achievement successful. If we are successful. Okay. That's pretty cool. So that's going to cool those. It's going to fill them up with all the waters. See, it's already full up. 998, 998, 998. Those are set. Breaking those infinite blocks. Really? I wasn't getting a lag on my end. I didn't feel like it anyways. It's possible. Okie dokie. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, so, we, to be honest, we don't use the small reactor to power the bigger one. That's not why I do this. The reason I do this is to get the big one to, to the right temperature to produce enough power to get the achievement. I need helium negative three, and the only way to get helium negative three is a byproduct of a reactor. So the small one exists purely to give me helium negative three, which I will then feed into the large one to get the higher temperature. So yeah, this is a this is this is here literally just to create fuel. Um, both of them are going to use. Let me see. the The little one is going to use deuterium and liquid hyd uh, hy liquid helium hydrogen liquid hydrogen. And then the, li the big one is going to use uh, liquid hydrogen and helium negative three. It's very, very challenging to get it to work right. Okay, so. Well, there's a dash in there. It's helium dash three. I don't know. Not all of them have a dash, so that's why I assumed it was negative three. I could be wrong. But there's a dash there. So I'm going to... Res you know me. I say all the letters. I respect all the dashes. Too. All right. I don't need that anymore, that anymore, that anymore. That anymore, I said. Okay. Ah, that's what I spelled. <laughs> Still have an hour. I don't know if we're going to get this up and running today. But sure would be cool if we did. Oh, no! I ought to... I guess doing that now is not that big of a deal because I don't have a mob farm going anymore. So that's okay. Um, okay. So now we need to start connecting... The cooler. The cooler. Um, where the heck... Oh, here it is. I knew it was here somewhere. Hold on. I'm about to mess with my system a bit. I want to move something. This is too close. I need to move it a little ways away. That should be fine. But now i got to sync this so that system will start putting the liquid diamond back in it again. Super spades. I'm gonna build something in here. All I've done is clear the lava out this week. I didn't. I didn't get to start building it. That's for later. In case anybody wonders why there's a door there. Okay. Now I'm going to need cables. We will grab a fluid cable. And we will put it here. Mm, yes. Then I'm going to need a wireless. Dang it. I knew I'd be missing something. I'm going to 
How many slots that got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Perfect. I thought it did. Excellent. Okay, dokie. Need some gups. Didn't come up. GPS. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, that's the water window. So I'm coming down here. We're going to start in the corner closest to it. I'm going to go top, bottom, top, bottom. Okay? Top. Bottom. Going clockwise. Top. Bottom. Top, bottom, okay. Those all need liquid diamond. Okay. Can add and remove as needed. Liquid diamond, molten diamond, yes. They all have their, they should be good. Okay. Mm, it's called uh, the normal, most stable healing. That's way too intelligent for me, awkward. <laughs> you are a smarter man than I. Uh, now, this shouldn't be changing right now, except for higher, because even though I've filled all those up, it's not actually using any until I turn anything on. Okay, next. Gonna need some tanks. Let's get my stuff back. We're going to need some big old tanks. I'm going to need... Ah, I normally use tanks. I wonder if black hole units might be better. Just to be on the safe side. No, because I already have a black hole unit holding the original. Tanks should be fine. Yeah, I can't use black hole units. I just remembered why. Okay, I need good tanks. I'm going to need one, two, four. I need four of these. Oh, I hate they don't stack. Two, three, four. And that. I knew that was going to happen. One, two, three, four. Okay. Tank three. One, two. Technically, three might be enough. If I don't have the stuff to make a four, I'm okay with it. Tank four. Okay. One, two. Oh, I got tons. Oh, sweet. I didn't realize I made that many. Awesome. Three, four. Okay. Hi, darling. I know you're back. Why you give me big yawn? It's okay? I see you over there. Yes, I know. You want some crunchy treats? Hold on a second, guys. Don't look at my butt. Don't look at my butt. There you go. You don't want those? Yeah, you do. I thought so. Okie dokie. So we got the code. What was I doing? The tanks. Yes, tanks. I was doing tanks. Where'd I put them? One, two, three, one, two. Now we're going to fire up the little one and get it fully running before we touch the big one. So the big one will not fire up today. I'm hoping the little one will be done today. But I don't know for sure. I think I have to add flux to these to give it power too, if I remember correctly. I should probably grab a couple of those and get that going. Good girl. Eat your treats. I'm sorry. I made a spitty noise. It scared you. I know. Crap. A lot of flux. A lot of flux. What the flux? I will always make that joke. Okay. Uh, does that have to be the top or the bottom? I don't remember. We'll put it in the top. I also got to power everything around it too, right? 
can't remember if it takes power from the top. If not, we'll worry about it when we get there. So the temperature's going up. Well, what good is that? Oh, I also got to put a lever on it, too, I think. Bam! Achievement. Go big or go home. Got the achievement for building the maximum size one. So we know we built it the right size. That's that's the easier of the two. <laughs> I think it's a lever on the bottom. Hell, I don't even remember. I may have to look at I may have to switch over to the other world just to double check that before we fire it up. I still have to power up all of these things by slapping flux all over the place. Okay, um, this needs to have some fluid cables, the extraction cable, one. <laughs> Sorry, Buffy, I didn't mean to scare you, babe. And these are already max, right? Yeah, fluid's, are, fluid's the one that's already max. Hello, thank you for the drive-by. Thanks for stretching and putting your butt in my face. I appreciate every second of it. <laughs> All right, so... These guys need some fuels. Boy, that temperature is getting up there. Maybe I shouldn't have the power on that yet. Just to be on the safe side. I'll melt things down before I get going. You chill out a minute. Buffy, no baby. Listen, I know your mouth is hurting you, isn't it? No, you can't chew on these things. Stop that. All right, we're going to wait on that. I mean, before I melt down the world. Maybe I put that on there too quick. That powered up awfully fast. This one's a little slower, but that's okay. We're going to, I'd rather err on the side of caution, if you will. All right, so that's going to be there. That's going to be here. That's not what I meant to do. That's going to be here. That's going to be there. Okay. These are the fluids, the fuels that are going to go into it. Okay. So I have to connect these fuels. Which means I'll need more GPSs. GUPS, if you will. GPS. Let's bring out a stack of them. Put that one there first. Um, okay. Hello, baby. Thank you again for sitting in front of my face. Actually, you know what? That's going to get in the way. Wireless. Two of those. One, two. Okay. Now, both of these machines oops, are going to get liquid hydrogen. So, I can do... bottom one and one on, I'm choosing the closest both times <laughs> liquid hydrogen crank that up there All right. that's got filling up that's filling up oh did I make problems I believe I made problems No. Um, I need to somehow change that. I'm trying to remember the. Where's the button that lets me change that? Prevent put to display. No. There it is. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Put that, clear that. Okay, that makes room for the other one. Okay, so I never got to worry about... Yes, okay, that's what I'm looking for. Now, deuterium only goes in the small one. And again, I need to... Let me... I've already got the button click, so we're good there. All right, deuterium. Oh, I've got to go click the thing first. Yeah. Small one for deuterium. Now it's already fixed. I've already got the overflow fixed. Yeah. 
that in there, there. That is filling up as well. Okay. Unclick the second button. Was that a, did I do that? Okay. Thank you. Thank you much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the catch. I don't think I did that on the other one, but let me check. That one's already okay. Thank you very much for the catch, Stephen. That was, that, was, that, was, that was important. Good sauce on Stephen. Luckily, that's the one I have the most of, but still. Don't want to ruin either of those. Okay, so those have got... Little ones got fuel. Now I just have to power all the cells, which means a butt ton of flux. Butt ton of flux, I tell you. What do you mean other way? That's the... It's. What are you talking about now? Now you're confusing me. Which one was it? Void leftover fluid? No, there's an X there. It's not, it's not voiding at leftover. There's only two options, on or off. So that's off, because there's an X. X, yeah. Yeah, that's, there's an X there. So it's not, it's not doing it. There's only two options. So it was either the way I already had it, and I didn't need to change it, or this one's not getting its second fuel yet. Easy way to check. Let's see. We'll go over here and we'll take a look. Ethereum is so slow. Ethereum is not growing. That could be a problem. That one is just fine. 28,400. No, it's going up. It's just not going up in fr for some reason in front of my face. I've had that problem before where some black hole tanks don't show the count as well. But the other ones are okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's going up. Everything's going up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So now we got to power the world, uh, which means all the flux. That's what I was going to work on. We're going to go work on a bunch of flux. Again, this is a very complicated procedure. It's not that complicated. It's just, it's a thing. So I went to get groceries today. I'm going to eat some junior mints while we're talking. Uh, I went to get groceries today. Uh, sadly, very, very little Easter candy left over. I remember the good old days when there'd be a ton left over. You'd go the day after and save a bunch of money and get fat for cheaper. I have a great story about that. Remind me to, to, to tell you that story. Um, but they had some specials on at the Kroger, man. Soda, cases of soda or pop, depending on where you are. Buy two, get three for free. I don't drink soda. My wife does and my mother-in-law do. So I bought five cases. Why would you not? Buy two, get three for free. That's insanity. I'm out of flux. I'm accepting this. I spelled redstone wrong. Um, they also had the same thing on Lay's chips, which includes, like, Cheetos. So I got like salt and vinegar, a sour cream, an onion, two cheesy poofs, and a cheesy crunchy. Buy two, get three for free. The same thing on chips, man. There were probably other things in there somewhere that had the same thing, but I didn't. I wasn't really looking. I just happened to be going down the chip aisle because my wife wanted some Chex Mix, and I saw that when I first walked in, they had a big thing for the soda, and I'm like, that's insanity. Like you were saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that. For them, I haven't had a soda since March 1st, 2011. I was 13 years dry as of this... Uh, where's it at? Oh, there it is. Uh, as of the this year. Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Right, pick them up. Pick them up. There, lots of flux. We got lots of redstone. I'm not worried about so that's a good deal, man. I'm assuming for Easter, they're expecting people to have like a lot of ghetto get-togethers, you know what I mean? Chips and soda for all the kids at Easter or something like that. Like, they aren't going to have enough stuff to rot their teeth out. Spoken from a guy who knows. I went to a Walgreens yesterday to pick up some stuff for my wife and found the biggest box of Junior Mints I've ever seen. That's almost a head-sized box. 
That's good bunny right there. Well, I'm burning through it, right? Coke Zero. Gotcha. Now, I shy away from things like soda because uh, when I went on a diet years ago, March 1st, 2011, I said, I'm never going to drink soda again. But you have to understand, I drank soda to a level that was drastically unhealthy. Hang on a second. I need a flux configurator. Configurator. This is one time where I use them, for sure. All right. Let's see how much we actually need to connect these. Top. Bottom. But I need to power this middle one and the inside middle one, too. Which makes me feel like that would be a good idea. Oh, wait. I have an idea. What am I doing? That's stupid. I okay. So I would go through an average of four to six 12 packs a week minimum. So I was the type of guy that when I was making this when I was single, I would be making dinner. Um I was making dinner and uh, I would drink one or while well, we're making dinner. And then I would take like three with me to go sit down and have my meal. You know, like four per meal kind of thing. It was not good. All right. So I need to get the top here. That's those two. And then I need the bottom middle. That's going to be a little harder with the coolers here. But we're going to have to do it like this. One here, one here. Because that's going to get... The inside and middle, and it should be enough to cover the corner. So here we're going to do this, this, network. Okay. Nope. Did I not do that? Oh, I just changed it. Hold on. Forgot you don't have to hold shift. Click. Click. Okay. See how that does for the corner before I start slapping them everywhere else. The little ones won't be the little one won't be as bad. Huh? Well, I got the whole corner, and that's what I was worried about. Okay. Whoa, shoot, wrong thing. Move you there. Bottom. watching to see if those are going to get fixed in the middle. If not, I need to add another one. Yep, they did. Okay, good. So, all right. So, I should be good to do the same over here, which was two on the bottom. Bottom, bottom. Doot, doot. And then top was over here. I feel like I should be doing two on the top and two on the bottom here, which is what I'm going to do moving forward. I can always go back and add more later. So two in the top, two in the bottom. I'm going to put one there at the end of the cooler, one there at the end of the cooler. I'm probably putting down way more than I need to, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Whoops. All right. See if that does everything I need it to. If not, I can fix the top one. Mm -hmm. 
They appear to be good. They appear to be good. Now, I have a concern. Stephen has mentioned something that is worrying me. We may not get to start this today. Because he's messed with my mind. Why am I out of everything? Oh no, I ran out of obsidian again. Okay, we gotta get some obsidian. Minor break. Here's my problem. Steven said, don't forget to put the plug on the bottom so that the power has a place to go and it doesn't turn off. My power storage is full. We may have to take some time to finish to, ma to drastically increasing the size of our power storage in order to be able to handle the power from these two reactors. Which I did not think about. And that's on me. Let's go get some obsidian real quick. Enderman, as you were. Energy, I don't remember, I can't remember if the trash can works on energy. We'll check in a minute. Okay, that should be good for a minute. Come to Draven! <laughs> Lots of obsidian. Oh, I forgot to get my backpack out. See how much further we can go. I don't want to go at the bottom, but... Okay, got some more. good that's more than enough for what we're about to do so that'll work I don't remember if energy goes into the trash can or not. oh a little, bit, a little bit over here I'll take that too thank you where's the there it is <laughs> why did I switch to my gun walrus as you were For some reason, that did not do the double thing that time. That's all right. All right. <clears throat> that should fix that. I don't remember if energy can go in the trash can. I know a way to try. We're going to find out in a minute. Um, flux. Why are you still got a mess of me like that? Alright, that battery is full. Uh, I don't think those trash cans are in this one. No, in, in Sky Factory 4, it doesn't have those ones. I know which ones you're talking about. And those ones are great. But yes, this pack does not appear to have those ones. I will check garbage to be on the safe side. No, it's not there either. That's all right. We're going we're gonna to try using a regular trash can. I don't know why I didn't do that when I was there. Let's science it. Hmm. Yeah, those are the ones I was... Yeah, those... No, unfortunately not. 
This is not connecting to that trash can. I know they were in all the mods to the Sky 7. We used them there. Nope, that's not draining. Good idea. Unfortunately, it didn't work. But that's okay. Never know until you try. What is this? Wake up time. Walkie talkie? That's awesome. I didn't even realize I was in there. You get a voice server. You could actually only talk to each other with a walkie talkie. That's that's pretty fat. I didn't know that. Any fluid or item? Yeah. Delete enchantments off things. That's not it either. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have to. This is going to be what we do for the rest of the day now. Unfortunately. But yeah. What are we going to do, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be so much harder. I can't... Oh, crap. I don't have a way of turning off the charging. Remember before I turned off the flux? So that way when I was making these fuel cells to make it larger, that it... Uh, they weren't charging because when they didn't charge, you couldn't do pickups. They wouldn't stack and things like that. Can't do that now because even if I turn off with flux, one of my Android abilities is to charge anything. Ah, it's gonna slow things down a little bit. These energy tablets. As soon as I put them in my inventory, bam, they're gonna charge. Yep. Now, it only charges the ones that are in my hot bar, so that's something. I'll just leave those ones in there. Whoops. I'll just leave those bottom five in there and just make a bunch without. Then I don't have to worry about it. We just will have five. Why do I keep clicking on that, damn it? That's all right. We found a way around it. It just means there's five slots I can't use. I technically just... Could just put you know anything in that space and it would work blocks of some kind to fill it but they're already in there so so we're gonna make a whole mess of these for a minute still doable we're gonna make it work okay I don't know what happened there but all right I'm gonna make so many of these things until I run out of these stupid enriched alloys which I think I have a lot of them Which I don't think I need for the next part, hopefully. <laughs> I'll have to go make a bunch more. We may not need to go all the way up to Tier 3. I could probably make a bunch of Tier 2s. Maybe. I don't know, man. I made a bunch of Tier 3s off camera and doubled the amount I had in there plus 2. Plus 4. It's been like a work board clicking while it was happening. Got team meeting and stuff. But I uh, may have to work on that again. I may have to do some more of that tomorrow if I can and get us set for tomorrow night. Oh, we ran out. Okay. So that's that. Um, and then what was the other thing that we used for these? The power cells, right? Yeah, the basic energy cubes, which I need for tier twos. Okay. First of all, let's make sure we got plenty of those. Okay. Tier one. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the actual energy cubes? Because I need tier ones for tier one. Yeah, we're going to make those first. Okay. What... Why do I even do this? Wouldn't be so bad if they stacked. We'll get half as many of these as we did tablets, because it uses two per. Then I'm going to have to make a whole bunch of tablets for the next part.
I'll go with that. All right. So energy cells number one is the next step. And I need four energy cells and lithium dust. How are we doing for lithium dust? We are not. Okay. Lithium dust. Lithium, lithium. Luckily, we got lots of lithium. We can get to crushing a bunch of that right now. After I throw these in, I'm going to go check something and make sure I'm not stupid. It's very possible I'm stupid. You all know. It's very possible I may not have to do all this. We will see. Crushing. Will you take lithium? You will. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Oop, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Come on, Draven. All right, let's see if Draven's... Where's my Shrinky Dink? Damn it, anyway. Shrinky Dink. There it is. Here, you can be one of those. Do, do, do. Induction matrix. I'm going to see if there's a void overflow option. If there is, it's not a problem anymore. Statistics. There is not. I don't see anything. Yeah. There is not, unfortunately. Okay. That was a thought. If there was a void overthrow, that would have made overflow, that would have made life way easier, right? I could have just done that. Okay, well, back to work. <laughs> The induction thing itself has got tons of space inside. All right. Mechanism again. Now we're back making more of these. No, we're not, because I ran out of enriched alloy. No. Why? Why does everybody hate me? <laughs> uh, osmium compressor? Infusing. It's infusing that I need. Give me that machine. Where's the front? Fusing machine. Okay. A little piece of gold over there. Means I need iron. A plenty. Oh no, I only have 125,000. A huge mineral battery. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting thought. I, I can't... I don't know if there's a maximum size for mineral batteries. I've never tried, to be honest. Where's the infusing battery? What? In, oh, this is... Oh, I hate that it doesn't work. I can't double-click iron. I have to do the... The regular loading. Do I still have a regular chest here? Oh, God. That's not good for me. That's not good for me at all. <sighs> Damn it. No, it's still doing the... I'm trying to open this. I forgot with iron and gold you can't do that. Pick this back up. Redstone. Exit out. No, you're correct. Yeah, so I was going to throw it into a trash can. I don't need it. I just don't know how big of a mineral battery you could make, and is it going to be enough to make a difference? You know what I mean? That reactor's going to make a ton of power when I finally get it, right? I mean, we look at it. Let's take a, let's take a look at the grand scheme, right? That thing is going to make 3.3 .3 million RF Per second. The average mineral battery starts at 1 million. So I'd have to make three batteries per second that the reactor is running. I just don't think it's going to be able to hold that much. I just think the amount of time it would take to make the battery would be just as bad, if not worse. You know what I'm saying? 
Not to mention the small one's going to be running too. So it's actually going to be making more than three million per tick. Probably right about four. That's not the one. I'm not against the idea. I just, I don't think the battery's going to be big enough to do what I need it to do. Yeah, like, I can, I'm sure I could automate it. Well, it would take a long time. The amount of time it would take, I could just make the, the thing to make the induction bigger. going to get a fair amount of these going and then we're going to set. So the goal for today, we got 25 minutes left. So I don't think we'll have the reactor up and running today. We'll try and get the induction working. Uh, and if we can, sweet deal. And I'll work on the induction more tomorrow. Interesting fact as well. Um, I ran into years ago when I was just making one of my own playthrough and I got tired of making them, so I thought I'd do it in creative. And when I put them in the thing, creative, it automatically filled them. So I had way more power than I started with, but it didn't give me any more room. And it was a waste of my time to do it in creative. You made it? I could probably figure out if I wanted to dedicate like a whole episode to it. I mean... Damn it, now you've given me an idea. <laughs> Hold on. Draven's got to test something. We're going to do a science real quick. Oh, we're going to do that uncrafting thing real quick. What was it that I wanted to uncraft? Does anybody remember? I wanted to test uncrafting on something specific. Oh, the, was it the nuclear craft components? No, it wasn't that, was it? I don't remember now. <clears throat> Was it nuclear stuff? Okay. Maybe if I look at all the nuclear stuff, it'll help me remember. Uh, let's see. What would I have made that I wanted to take apart today? Maybe it was the transparent fission casings? I guess we could see those. Let's go test that real quick. Recipe found, yeah. Usually if you can do one, you can do most of them. So there we go. That'll take some things apart. It'll make them into the orange ones, probably. I don't have to redo them, put them in again, but that's okay. That's good to know. I don't know if those will work. We'll try. Uh, let's see. Putting all that together would give me a 9 million RF battery, which is what I knew already. That's okay. Not going to need any more of this stuff. 655 million is the biggest? That's no good then. 3 million per second. I do that. I would fill it in a minute. I mean, granted, once I get the achievement, I could just turn it back off again. But I don't know how long there's how much power and stuff's going to be produced in the small one and stuff in the meantime. I'm going to need more more full for sure. But now you I've got to try something else. Grab a couple chests. Let's get some of this stuff. Oh no! I put those in my pocket by accident. Wrong spot. Okay. You. Cable.
Okay. I wanted to see. Now, these aren't all the same, though, and that might be part of the problem. So let me try this. Three, four. Because that's four more. That would be nine. No. I was thinking if I could just, if they would just package her together as a nine grid. But technically, that's not a recipe. So I could see why that doesn't work. Would have been cool, though. Because you could just run through a packager and cycle, keep putting them in a circle, even. Oh, well. Now we know. Oh, wow. Let me stack those. That's not normal. <laughs> Okay, let them figure that out in the back side. All right, well, science, right? So manual batteries, unfortunately, would not be big enough for our needs. But still an interesting concept. Well, a crafter would work, but the problem is the second crafter, I would have to have, because it would only be able to do nine of them. So then I'd have to have, for the next crafter, nine again. And the next crafter, nine of the higher... Then I'm back to, I wouldn't be able to make the next one until the first ones are done. Does that make sense? And I ended up having a huge row of them. Because the recipe I would put in there would be nine one million ones. Then I'd have to have one that was like nine nine million ones. And then nine eighty one million ones. And so on and so forth. So I'd have to make the recipe to put it in there. I have to already have the blocks. That's the problem with auto crafting them. Still, again, not a bad idea. I think that's what you're saying. We ran into the problem with crafting them before because you have to have the components. That's why packagers are great for things like stacking sugar cane and mineral or uh, netherrack because you don't have to actually have a recipe for them. 65 million battery? All right, fine. Let me put it on the list. We're not going to do that today. Max mineral battery. That's on the list of challenges for this playthrough, though. That's on there. Did I don't want to. I do want to try to get a little bit of this stuff done for today, but we will add that on there. Because when this is done, when I'm done with these reactors, I still have some things I want to build. I've got a cool room I want to build. I want to play with Mistcraft in this playthrough, which we haven't done yet. Haven't in the last two or three playthroughs, I haven't touched Mistcraft. So I'd like to play with Mistcraft a little bit again. I still have to make the Matter Overdrive reactor. So there's still a lot. The Fusion Reactor is not the end by any means. Anyway. Why did I put at mineral? <laughs> ah, I'm an idiot. Um, one mechanism. <laughs> okay. Now we're back in here again. Three. 25. Okay, that's... You're not charging, right? That does not charge in my pocket? Good, it doesn't. That's good. Uh, I ran out of these things again. But before I do it... Ha 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 ha! Draven wins... Make a bunch of these. Why did I keep doing that? I was giving it time to make a bunch of uh, the enriched alloys. Buying us some time by trying that other stuff out. I have some very sad news to share with you all. I've run out of junior mints. Let's have a moment of silence. I'm just kidding. You don't have to have a moment of silence for that. You should want to, though, but you don't have to. So our poll for the day. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the poll. We only have 15 minutes left. Uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Eggs uh, won basically almost two to one, um, which doesn't surprise me. I feel like when I talk to people, this isn't everybody, but overall I find that older people enjoy the Easter cream eggs more and the younger people I talk to like the Reese's peanut butter eggs um, now again that's not to say everybody of a, a certain age group feels the same way everybody's an individual I'm just saying in my experience when talking to people well that younger folks like the Reese egg because when I grew up you know Cadbury eggs came out at Easter there were no Reese eggs for the first like 20 years of my life it wasn't a thing all you had were these that was the only seasonal thing that came out I remember my favorite Easter thing I ever got was <laughs> two stories here. First one, the favorite Easter thing I ever got was uh, a big Easter bunny, chocolate Easter bunny, but the box was shaped like a uh, phone booth. 
if you don't know what a food booth is, I'm dying inside. A phone booth. And the bunny inside was wearing like a suit that he was taking off, and underneath it he had superheroes. A Superman, but a super bunny suit. So it looked like a Superman changing into a suit in the in the thing. I, I just remember thinking that was the coolest chocolate rabbit I've ever seen, right? Each cream eggs are too sweet for you. Understandable. Again, yeah, that's definitely a thing. See, again, for me, it's like, it also depends, like, if I'm going to go for quantity, I could probably eat more Reese eggs than I could Cadbury Easter cream eggs. Like, I could sit and eat a bag of chocolate peanut butter eggs. It's like I could sit and eat a bag of chocolate Reese cups. I couldn't eat a bag of Cadbury's eggs. I think by the end, I'd be way too sweet at that. Um, so I agree with you, definitely more sweet. But if I was going to have, if I if it was Easter and I had the choice of I could have one of one of them, I'd probably take the Cadbury egg. Just because I can't get anything else like it the rest of the year. And like I said very early on, I think a part of that for me is nostalgia. Right? I can get Reese Christmas trees, Reese bats, Reese pumpkins. There's, what is this? I want to pull that. There's a million different... They, Reese's has one for every season. And then Reese cups in the middle. So, I mean, I can get them all the time. So they're not as... It doesn't feel as special to me. Too sweet when they're a kid? Legit. I get that. Where are my drinks at? Oh, here we go. I'll finish the other one. I'll drink this then. Oh, I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Going back to work after a long weekend. Ending the poll. Cool. Can I add another poll after that? 35 votes. I thank everybody who voted. I can add more polls. It also says start a Q&A. I'm not quite sure what that means. Isn't every live stream basically a QA? and a I guess maybe some people don't talk to their audience. But that seems stupid to me. Why would you stream if you weren't going to hang out with the audience? I'm always flattered and yet shocked when people show up and like, oh wow, you actually talked to the audience. What is everybody else doing that they're not talking to the audience? I just don't understand it. I'm sure there's probably people out there having huge channels and never spoke to the audience, but I don't know how the hell they're pulling it off. It doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's make some more of these. Quishwa! Three? Oh, no, it was lagging. <laughs> okay, so I was able to make some. Wow, that's not a lot, though, is it? That is not a lot. Holy smokes. Um... I need four of each. So how many do I have? 108? Okay, we're going to go with that. I've got 108. So that means I need 25 tier twos. Right? Because it's four per, isn't it? Wait, let me check. Oh, tier two. Yeah, it's four per plus a plus two, which is a plus... Oh, God, this is going to take forever. Okay, we only got 10 minutes left. I will work on this off camera tomorrow because this is going to be boring as hell to watch. <laughs> it just is. I know these things because I'm. It's boring to do. This I could probably automate. Um, hmm. I bet I could automate that. Oh my god! We're gonna automate that. I could totally automate that. I could. I could totally automate that process. I just have to have two things making the energy batteries, two things making tier ones. I would have to... I could automate the, the, the energy cells very easy. They're the, the, the batteries. I could automate the batteries really easily, the storage cells. The other parts are doable, but then I'm going to have multiple things pulling the same components for their automation. And I feel like, I still think it's possible. Huh. All right. I'm going to fiddle with that today and see what I can put together. And I'll still keep working on it manually. So either way, by tomorrow when you guys show up, I'll have enough power in there for us to move forward. Uh, well, talk to the audience. Let's see, I'm going to be honest with you. You're going to watch a lot of streamers. You're the only one who talks back to the comment section. So, oh, wow, really? I can. I, I would think, why do people keep going to watch them? Now, let me, let me take a step back. If I'm watching a group of people playing a game, I could understand that a little bit more because they have their own interaction. It's hard 
I know when I'm on Twitch and I play a group game or playing Seven Days to Die with people, it's hard to talk to my audience and the people I'm playing the game with. So I could see that being harder uh, if you're playing with other people. But if you're the only one playing, and I could see taking a stream now and again, be like, hey, I'm not going to talk to you guys. If you don't watch, you can watch. I'm just going to be playing casually, maybe some music playing, whatever. But overall, if you're the only one on the channel, I can't see why you wouldn't talk to the audience. Why bother having a chat open? You know what I mean? Why is there even a chat there? A multi-group, I could see, because you're going to have a conversation going on. And I, I do struggle to answer questions sometimes in the chat when four other people are having a conversation over top of me. So I have to mute the chat in the background, when I'm, or mute the, the server, if you will, people I'm playing with, when, t when I'm addressing the audience specifically to cut that out. Uh, and I run into that a little bit more on, on Twitch, because I don't really ever play any group games over here. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna take a minute to clean some of this out. I won't be getting any more of these now because I have shut down our mob farm. Some extra arms. There's an arm. There. Oh, hey, I maxed out arms, though. That's pretty good. Chest. Oh, hey, I maxed out chest, too. Legs. Oh, oh. I'm already maxed out on legs. All right, no more legs. No more arm. What's this? Legendary android arm? I could probably get rid of a torso. Stack for that. Put a... Why did I do it that way? <laughs> what did I just do? Okay, I'm going to go back to what I had before. Now I'm just confusing myself. Legs and arms are full. Heads, mostly full. Cool. Throwing these in the trash. And that's not even all the guns, right? All the guns go into the overflow storage. What are those orbs? I've never seen those before. These? These are shot rebound modules. Make your bullets ricochet. So, it's what goes in one of these two comp components over on the side of weapons. So, a shot rebound matrix uh, is applicable to one of the missile slots and gives you 100% chance of ricocheting. Which is odd, because when you shoot a wall, it doesn't ricochet. But if you shoot a mob, it can. Odd. But it does. That's the way it rumbles. That's the way the Draven rumbles. All right, so. Well, you know what? We got the physical build done. And that's pretty impressive. We got the cooler set up. We got the fuel set up. Had we not run into the fuel storage problem, we would have had this little guy running today. So that's pretty awesome. Granted, now that this is running, it's going to be sucking some power out, but I still feel like this reactor is providing enough power to run to, to charge those both up. And uh, I haven't even, it's and I, I still have maximum fuels in both. I'm producing fuel so much more than this is still running. And I'm at the point where I'm now making fuel faster than I'm using it for that. And then this is just going to add more power to the pool. So once I start charging all this down here, which is another thing that probably would have helped, once I start charging all these up with flux, that's going to pull more power from the from everything as well. But I just don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, thank you for the storage thing, man. That could have been uh, that could have been an explosive meltdown, at least on the top one. Groovy. Well, I think that's a good place to call it. So, um, again, if you're out there watching, don't forget to click like and be sure to subscribe. Uh, I Link for Discord should be in the description. If it's not, go to my website, onlydraven.com. There's an active link there uh, near the very top of the very first page. I'll make sure it's updated and working as well. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. And uh, links to all my socials. All my stuff's on there. I'll have a new streaming schedule up. Tomorrow, probably midday. i got to put it together still. Uh, reminder, there are no streams next weekend. Because, unfortunately, I am completely occupied both Sunday and Monday. Um, and I don't know if the Merge Worlds is going to be Friday at this point. So the whole weekend might be a bust. But I will be here tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. So come back by and we'll do more things in Minecraft. Okay? Cool. All right. Well, I hope everybody had a great Easter, and I appreciate you all coming by and hanging out. Let me play some games with you. Uh, again, keep an eye out for some of the new perks and bonuses that are going to come out with the Patreon when that comes out. I hope to have that up and running 
by the end of the month. I'm not in a rush. I'd rather have it working correctly and have it all designed nicely for people. So keep an eye out for that too. Okay? All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Be safe out there. Party hard and party hard. All right? I will talk to you later.